days and the pitch has held up very, very well. The good crowd here in Walsh Park now stand for Ron Naveen. Yes, last huddle for Barry Gunner. This is the big one for them. Are they going to advance and put last year's defeat behind them by Torres Rarsley? Last year it was in Semple Stadium. Today it's in Walsh Park in Warford City. And don't forget the Warford Club's home record against Tipperary Clubs is a good one. They haven't been beaten here since 1985 in the county when Taller were beaten by Kilroan McDonough's up in fame Lismore. So that's a long while ago. Can Barry Gunner keep up that great tradition? Down to our right, Stephen O'Keefe is going down. He's going guarding the goal on our right. That's the town goal. Down on our left, making the long run down is Patrick McCormick, the experienced Tipperary and Thurla Sarsfield's keeper. He's making the long track down to our left. In the middle of the field, column lines of Cork about to throw in the ball. Down the VIP seats, I see Jerry O'Sullivan, chairman of Munster Council. Alongside him, Dermot O'Sullivan, who is no introduction to my co commentator today, Dan Shanahan. The ball is in, and the Munster quarter final is underway. First touch to David O'Sullivan from that breaking ball. Hard clash in the middle of the field, bursting out for his body. Maher grabs it with Gutso, and the Torla Sarfi centres back, send it long in around to full forward, and looking for Dennis Maher inside. Well held inside by Coughlin. Good play by the county fullback. Hand passes back to Stephen O'Keefe, drives it out to the right, looking for David O'Sullivan, call for that ball, gets that ball about 50 metres out from his own goal line near the far sideline. That's the far sideline, the bank sideline, covering across is Stephen Lillis. Dada Garda up in the Turles area but hand pass the ball straight to Porrick Mann he's on the sideline 50 metres out takes his shot it's over the bar bad hand pass by Lillis give it to the wrong man and Porrick Mann super score from the sideline yeah. what a start for the Gunners uh, then. great play from Bally Gunner there like you know Porry using his brain there left the man get the ball and hand passed in and a great score from Porrick he's lethal from that, that, that distance game less than a minute and Mann puts him over the bar, good score by Porrick Manny. Long puck out from the third of the man. Dropping inside the 45. Coming across is Aidan McCormack. The centre forward there. Falls to the ground there. The ground in good condition considering the few weeks we've had. Ball just breaks to Billy McCarthy. He's been outstanding for Sars. He's going for a long one. Is it going to turn right? Yes, it is. Right and wide. First wide of the afternoon for Torless. Billy McCarthy, he's been promising in their championship so far. Right and wide. Yeah, just... Uh Kind of panicked time here, Kieran, to realise that uh, it's a good scoring opportunity. Stephen O'Keefe, the Ballygunner goalie, looks for options. One of them is looking for Billy O'Keefe coming right near the sideline. Kept in play, but has gone out over the line. I think Cahill Maloney there, the fullback, got a touch on it. Out over the line, going to be line ball to Ballygunner. Harley going to take it quickly. Instead, he gives it to Billy O'Keefe. 11 points in the championship so far, one point in the county final. Doing well. Oh, line out snapped out here by Porrick Manny. Not quite sure if it's made for Porrick. Is it going to turn in? No, it's gone right. It's gone wide. First wide for the Gunners. But score remains one point, no score. Porrick's attempt goes right and Yeah, Kieran, just a bit right there. He'd be disappointed with that Porrick because he's, he's usually, as I said a minute ago, lethal from that distance, like you know. So he's getting a lot of ball, Porrick Manny. McCormick with the puck out. He's dead, of course. Part of the management team as it goes long into the half back line. Won inside by Harley Barnes. Tracking back as he normally does to help, to help the half back line. Loses the ball, bit of overplay. Ball goes to John Maher in the middle of the field. Brother of the cornerback, Stephen, plays it into the corner. Looking for Stakelum, looking for Big Lar inside there as well. What can they do with inside? Good play by the defence inside. Cockton has come there, so too is Hayden. Backtracking as well as Shane O'Sullivan. And in the end, it comes to David O'Sullivan inside his own 45, the centre forward. Sends it long, one at the other half by Michael Cahill. Gets it out to the middle of the field to Stephen Lillis, he's going for a long one, it's gone right and wide, in hope more than anything else, it goes right and wide, second wide, far third of the score remains, one point no score, it almost three minutes gone. Interesting here, Kieran Michael Cahill is picking up Brian O'Sullivan in the corner, so I say man, man, man uh, David O'Sullivan came deep for that ball, great ball up the line, but Brian was uh, just behind Michael. 
puck out again. Sun shining here. Yeah, puck Good puck out near the 45. Harley running onto it there. Oh, well, well dispossessed by John Maher. Good hard physical play by the Turtle Sars midfielder. Ball in the middle of the field. Good hard pulling here. But great running onto it there. Billy O'Keefe. But bursting onto it is a Sars man. And that Sars man is Lark Corr. But out in the middle of the field. Dropping it. But drops it short. There. A lot of pulling and dragging as was dropping in. Turtle's looking for a free. But referee says play on. Stephen O'Keefe out to the unmarked Shane O'Sullivan good vision by the keeper gets it out to Harley Harley Barnes gets it back to Porrick Manny he's on his own 65 it'll be some score if it's gone over I think he's pulled it left yes he has left and wide second wide for Ballygunner but score remains one point no, no score as we approach the fourth minute yeah, again Porrick was disappointed like Ballygunner really started the game strong here so they have uh, a no start off the car but come out to field the big here and so kind of one and one inside like you know two against two inside so uh, it's interesting Good puck out again by McCormack, the experienced keeper, the 30 year old, eight All Ireland medals in his pocket, or eight county medals in his pocket. Cut off inside the 65 by Porrick Maher, seemed to pick it off the ground. All the Benny Gunner thought he did, but the referee Colin Lines says play on. Maher gets his clearance, putting him on the, on the attack. What can they do with it? They have a chance, they take their shot. Lark Corbett and Lark sends it over the bar used it experience there found it hard to get position but when he got it he had a look took his shot sent it over the bar we're level for the first time then yeah great score from Lark Corbett Kieran so it was um, actually it was a half a goal chance Kieran if he slipped in the side he was one on one like you know our and that the was overlap was there the, yeah. from the puck out Brian O'Sullivan wins it comes out deep to win that ball drops it in around the the inside 20 metre line covering across Stephen Maher the cornerback slips to the ground full back Cahill Maloney is there as well but back helping him all is the centre back Porig Maher elegant play by the all star centre back sending it long dropping around the 20 metre line that's the belly gunner 20 line it's looking dangerous for him at the moment who's going to get it up and the man who gets it up is Ian Kenny yep. super play by Kenny gets it away to Harley Harley Barnes will he go on one of his runs he's inside the 45 strength and conditioning man is coming to play now because he's really yep. driving up the line flicked on well by Porig Mahoney that's super play by Porig he's gone inside the 45 Porig still on the run trying to make room for the takes the shot over the bar it goes lovely bit of play created by Harley Barnes and finished by Porrick Manny he's yeah, second fantastic play score, Kieran. Two back in front two, uh, one. two from four so from Porrick you know, that's what he does he, he really wouldn't have a 50-50 ball at Porrick Manny there took it on and put the ball over the ground. great leadership from Porrick yeah really put his head down took it on and sent it over the bar two points to one here we've only played five and a half minutes and been served up a cracker here in Walsh Park in this Munster quarter final from the puck out Billy McCarthy for the Sars plays the ball back this Cahill in the midfield he's going for a long one but it's gone right and it's gone wide or was it Lillis no, it was Lillis yeah the wing back coming forward the 31 year old sends it over the bar we're level for a second time yeah great score Kieran so it was a fantastic score there from Lillis shorten the grip there Lillis he's, he's been around that. a while he's dead well known rugby circles so they have loads and of from distance up and Torres sharp puck out to Barry Cockle, Barry Cockle back to Stephen O'Keefe, O'Keefe back to Kenny, this is a bit of overplay but Ian Kenny puts the head down, the UCC student, the 24 year old, out to the half back line it goes, play. Harley, Harley switches it across, Wayne Hutchinson here standing standside, hitting it into the Keynes Road and heading down towards the, oh push on the back, had to be on Brian O'Sullivan as he came out for it, but he answers the referee, I thought Ronan Maher was literally on top of him but they work it back. Porrick Maher relieves the pressure for the Thurlis man, puts him on the attack, the blue and white of Thurlis, picked up well by Barnes again sends it down into the corner He's what done. can Belly Gunner do with it now good hard play down under us here Brian O'Sullivan there really pushed off the ball yeah. by Ronan Maher the size and physicality of Moher Maher he gets it back to Cottle Maloney for Thurlis sending him on the attack over to the far side near the far bank Lark Corbett is there coming outside the 45 looking fit this afternoon as fit as I've seen him for a while plays the ball back again he gives it to Lillis he's taken that shot super score again but the creator was Lark Corbett and the finisher was halfback Stephen Lillis yeah as I said Paulie Mann he came to do from Belly Gunner I think Lark Corbett is doing for Torla Sass I noticed there that uh, Rona Maher He's following um, Brian O'Sullivan there, so he's carrying man for man. So he's uh, obviously Torres Sars have done their homework in the last two or three games. So Torres going in front for the first time is three points to two. You're listening to our George Corbett scored a big match live on WLR, live from Walsh Park. Three points to two, seven and a half minutes gone. Torres Sars lead, sharp puck out for the Gunners to Eddie Hayden wearing two but playing in the left corner for that puck out sends it up towards Billy O'Keefe he was outstanding last Sunday for him and again wins that ball good play by O'Keefe puts the head down looking for options hasn't too many options 
plays it very, very wide out to the right. The man out on the right is the joint captain, Shane Walsh. Shane Walsh going for a long one. Oh, I thought it had gone over, but left and wide. Third right for Belly Gunner. Score remains 3 2. Worth to, yeah, to try. Great work from Billy O'Keefe, Kieran, as uh, Shane Walsh had a lot more time there than he thought. I think he just panicked. It was good, 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 good effort, Kieran. Good effort. So down our left, the puck out. Patrick McCormack. Eight county medals, the captain way back in 2010. The experienced McCormack sends it long, dropping side to 45. Coming across for it is Billy McCarthy. The hard working half forward, but picked up well by Wayne Hutchinson. That's good play by Hutchinson. Feeds it to the ever present Harley Barnes. Harley made himself available for that one. Out to Brian O'Sullivan. Brian O'Sullivan and Ronan Maher. Maher gets the better of that one and flicks the ball away out as far as who's back inside his own 65. Lark Corbett. Lark Corbett, former hurler of the year, sends it long, puts him on the attack. Ball drops to Aidan McCormick. No relation. What's he going to do with that one? He's inside the 45 for Thurlis. That's the belly gunner 45. Did he overplay? Looked like he did. Play on, says referee. Now he's gone inside his marker. Goal on here. Takes his shot and instead sends it over the bar. Yeah, he took the Had right. a goal opportunity, but I think he took the right option. Sends it over the bar 4 2. Yeah, took the right option, Kieran, there. Like, you know, I think um, Shane Wedge would have got back and got the hook in him. Like, you know, and plus to beat Saki from that distance would have been a fair goal, but um, you know, he took the right option. Again, great work from, from the Thurlis Harris forwards. And Lar really worked playing deep and creating a Yeah, he's, he's space. Kind, of, kind of his own man, actually. Here and he's, he's, he's going where he wants to go. So out he's there, hard clash in the middle of the field there. Shane O'Sullivan, the ever present midfielder for the Gunners, and a hard toast with John Maher. Maher fouls him, it's going to be free for the belly gunner man, literally on the halfway line, but about three or four metres in from the sideline, stand side, hitting in to the goal on our left. The sun is shining here, very good crowd over on the bank, which is always a good sign of a fine day, but a good crowd down here. Yeah, for great, cold, here. great cold here, here, here now. I think it's the first free in ten, it's the first free, I think, in, in the ten minutes. I'll tell you how, uh, how heavily contested the game is. No, great crowd here, Kieran, and um, it's what disappointing crowd for the for the county final, but uh, where the conditions, conditions are getting in here, like you know, so um, it's so big, big with this one, what a year he's had, one goal, seventy-two points to his credit, the joint captain. Of course, with Shane Walsh taking his time over this one, very close to the sideline, hitting into the goal on our left. He bends, lifts, strikes, but has he pulled it? Yes, he has pulled it left and wide there. The wind is actually coming across the field, hitting into the stander, but the score remains four points to two. Ten minutes gone, just over ten. Yeah, there's a tough free to start with Kieran. Usually with free takers miss one, Kieran. Hopefully that's it for Polly from today. Stars goes short, go to Rowan Maher, but he goes long, the length of the field, dropping near the 20 metre line, running into the breaking ball as Billy McCarthy dispossessed well by Philip Mahoney, that's great play by Philip playing the ball down towards Billy O'Keefe on the 45, one handed pull there on the 45 over on the far bank, who's going to come off with that ball, there's two blue and white men, there's two black and red men, but it's a man in blue and white, in there, thrusting hard as Parik Mahoney as well, but it's the man from Thurla Sarsfield, have it, it's the midfielder Stephen Cahill, one of two sets of brothers on the team, puts it in around the full forward level, running out for it, is Ian Kenny, that's good play good by ball. the cornerback for the Gunners, oh, oh just, just ball, great pass it would have been to Shane O'Sullivan, beat Shane, but Shane has done well to win it back, in a tussle with John Maher, he wins it back, trying to get away from his marker, he is fouled, that's super play by Shane O'Sullivan, Paul was a bit too high for him, but he made it, he's in the end, battled hard for it, and wins a free, great, well, yeah, great determination Kieran by Shane, John, great determination, John Maher should have got over that ball, Kieran, to be honest, clear. but great work from Shane O'Sullivan there, there to, to win the free, he'd never say the attitude that Shane has, like, you know, over the years, like, you know, there's a ball, he shouldn't have won, and he won, like, you know, so gives Parag a, a chance to redeem himself, so Parag is a bit closer, the uncle is fouled, and the nephew is going to take <laughs> the free, wearing 12, hitting it into the goal on our left, over 60 medals in the O'Sullivan, Household, that's their county medal, but they dearly love another few monster ones as Porrick sends that one over the bar. The third point for Porrick Mahoney and brings it back to 1 4 3. Thurlis Sarsfield's lead. We've just played almost 12 minutes then. It's important, Kieran, that uh, for a free taker gets his score from a free like seconds without Kieran. So it's a great game, Kieran. McCormick with the puck out, the teacher. Cousins, of course, of the Mahars in the half back line, plucked out here again by Shane O'Sullivan. That's great play by the midfielder and passed the ball away, trying to get as far as Peter Hogan. Again, Ty very, very heavily strapped, but he's beaten for that ball in the end. The ball goes out over the line, over on the far side. Going to be line ball to the Gunners. Hogan is a very vital cog with them. Seems to be uh, carrying that hamstring injury, but a man given the right type of space, oh, then yeah, he can do damage. Definitely, Kieran. Like, he, he can seriously hurt you with his pace, Kieran. Like, you know, I, I, I like to see him out the field with Kieran coming, in, coming into the play, but um, I think Pally Gunner have gotten top well on midfield, Kieran, to be honest with you here. Porry takes uh, the line back. She gives it to Hogan as we speak about it. Hogan gives it back to Porry. He's standing on the sideline. Left handed takes that shot. I I love to see a goalie looking straight up. That means it's gone straight over the black spot, and yeah. definitely it has. Four point for Mahoney, and we're level for the third time. Yeah, now. A great intelligent play from Paulie. Lovely ball to, 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 to 
can't uh, Peter Hogan there Kieran to be honest with you into the handing back to him and over the back great intelligent play McCormick with the puck out 12 and a half minutes gone 4 points apiece people expect it to be tight that's exactly what's happening here in Walsh Park from the puck out Torless win possession midfielder John Maher there a bit casual there giving on to Aidan McCormick Belly Gunner defence converge Wayne Hutchins in there but the ball breaks back to McCormick he gets a second chance and he plants it over the bar second for the army man sends it over the bar Nine points in the county final. He's got a second here. Dan. Yeah, he's to go back in front. He, he's, uh, he was on the tip panel there for the start of the year, so he's a very good hurler here, and he really tough angle into the breeze here, and great, great score from. So 13 and a half minutes gone, 5-4, the men from Thurles, the men in blue and white, lead the men from black and red from the puck out, the ball just breaks, yeah. flicks into Lar Corbett, Lar has a look, gets his second point of the afternoon, the hurler of the year, 36 years of age, there's still life in the old dog yet, Dan. And there's plenty of life to care when you're fit, by. so uh, Lar's brain again came off of there, I think his sharp puck out wasn't... Uh, He's making it look so easy. He's uh, came with a sharp puck out that, that didn't control it, you know, so... 6-4. They lead from the puck out. Billy O'Keefe runs onto it. Again, doesn't hold it. Carl Maloney does. The 20 year old fullback for the Sar sends it down into the left hand corner, heading near the scoreboard corner, covering back Eddie Hayden. What's Eddie going to do with this one? Tries to burst out with it, really, in the tightest situation. Gives it to Shane O'Sullivan, who's in the tighter situation. Shane works the ball back. Bit of overplay, but it was a foul. That was lucky there because a bit of overplay by Benny Gunner. Too much overpassing in a tight scenario in the end, the foul on the belly yeah, gunner and, and they're relief for them. They were looking there, Karen, because I think the man was gone there, like you know, to be honest with you, like you know, a bit overplay, but look, they got the free, like you know, so watch this intelligent play from uh, Philip Manny straight Lovely play by Philip the Moon to tour, based in Dublin. So, oh, lovely ball there for uh, for Connor Power, but he just took his eye off it and loses that ball. The man who takes it away is John Maher for the Sars. Not a good clearance coming across as Wayne Hutchinson took his time with that one, but wins it on the second attempt. Good play with Hutch. Oh, Tried to give it to Shane O'Sullivan, nearly took the head off him there with the force that was in that one. In the end, the ball breaks. The cornerback, Michael Cahill, he's out around the middle. Sars are on the attack. Barry Coughlin comes out to try and rescue the situation out near the 40 metre line. That's 40 metres from the Belly Gunner line. It's 6 4. The Thurless men lead the Warford Club by two points. It's inside the 45. They're stalemate. Who can get it into their hands? I think the referee will have to blow but the man who gets it in is Wayne Hutchinson good play by Wayne off lows the ball David O'Sullivan lying very deep sends the ball up to younger brother Brian looked like a push in the back by Ronan Maher play on says the referee looked a definite push from here but the ball breaks to Stephen Maher sends it out towards Lark Corbett very near the far side and 65 metres from the, from the gun a lovely intelligent ball by Lar, and the man who read it best was Wayne Hutchinson doing very well at centre back hand passed the ball away but not the best of passes put his defence under pressure there the short passing not really working Wayne gets a good belt for his trouble there but a bit of overpassing relief for Valley Gunner yeah he had the advantage game so I say he, was, he knew what he was doing like no coming lines with his hand up um, no I think Valley Gunner overplaying a bit Kieran but if they live in the ball maybe quicker to Brian O'Sullivan the full forward inside him might might uh, work better for him but I know that I think the Torna Sars full back line are really on top inside at the moment Six points to four of course Owen Kelly down the sideline the Mullen the man part of the backroom team along with Tommy Ahar Paddy McCormick who's son and goal of course Johnny Inner an experience down on her left Fergal arms forward at Gordon Ryan he's seen it all before in the past Parry Connolly Rory O'Sullivan David Franks and of course Shea the physio a lot of experience in Belly Gunner a lot of experience in Torla Sars and it's the tip men lead six points to four bit of hold up and play everybody okay out to take the free is Stephen O'Keefe 35 metres out has he the distance to do it? I know he has. Uh, he's probably within his range, but will he try and lob it in? I think he might use it. Uh, he might go short here, Kieran. I think, if I'm being honest with you, he has the distance. Options. Yeah, looking at options there. And yeah, 35 yeah. meters out from his own goal. It's stand side, there, there, there. down on our right. The full forward line already congested, so obviously there's a movement in the full forward. going to happen, Kieran? I'd say. He's looking for options. He's putting his hands up. He's saying, "Oh, the referee in the middle of the field is calling Harley." Didn't see what happened there. Harley Barnes being called in. Oh, the umpire's calling me in a minute ago, Kieran. So obviously they just saw something. Um, just hope they continue to see everything. Yeah, very sharp out of those umpires down their left. But Shane O'Sullivan is going to take, or Stephen O'Keefe is going to take the free. Shane O'Sullivan resumes his position. And Stephen O'Keefe takes the free from his own inside his own 45. Oh, oh right well ball. cut out of the air, brilliantly by Brian O'Sullivan. First real touch for the. Full forward, the number 14. Shot the grip, takes it down over the bar. That's a super score. Good ball by Stephen O'Keefe. O'Sullivan maybe one of the smaller men on the team. Soared into the sky, caught the ball, had determination, turned his marker over the bar. What a score, Brian great, O'Sullivan. Great score from Brian. Really, he caught the ball, Kieran. The way, the way he shot in his holding here, knowing he's going to be hooked, and flicked it over the bar, flicked it the wrist. But yeah, that's what that's what Brian brings to the Great intelligent play by the essential man. There. 128 to his credit this year. We're back to a one point game. Good score by O'Sullivan, being quite so far. But when he got that ball, he was determined. 
a few subs being warmed up down under, but I think there's just precaution more than anything else. But the referee having a word. Again, the referee, um, yeah. a bit petty here this afternoon because it is, it is um, yeah, said, uh, October I think time of year. Stephen Maher is the man I think been spoken. Yeah, after giving one yellow, I think Kieran, he had to maybe give another yellow. I didn't see what happened here to be honest with you. He's uh, protesting his innocence there, but I think there's no, there's no real duck here. I think the game let, let the game flow away to be honest with you. Yeah, so it's uh, a yellow for Stephen Maher, the Montour, son of the chairman of the club, Allah Maher's not alone. In Thurles, in Tipperary, hard to believe that the most popular name to have played championship hurling over the last 50 years is Ryan, with Maharoni in second place, but that's a little bit of trivia. From the puck out, ball drops inside the 65. Who's first to react? Billy McCarthy. Lara's also over there. So too is Dennis Maher, but so too are the belly gunner stalwarts. And coming away with there is David O'Sullivan there, but takes a very, very heavy knock, but he loses the ball. Back covering his power, Rick Maher. Oh, Mr. Consistency, the army man, the all star hurler, the centre back. Tries to flick the ball away, but policed all the way by Bally Gunner. Good track by Bally Gunner. Gets the ball to Porrick Maher. Or Porrick Mahan. Yes, good play by Porrick there. As he fall. Yes, says the referee. Fergal Hartley loved that bit of determination from Mahoney there. Really showed great determination. Use his physicality, use his skill. Draws a free, an important free, but it really shows Bally Gunner up, up for it big time. Yeah, Kieran, I guess the crowd going as well, Kieran, when you when you win to see Porrick Mahoney, Porrick Porrick Mahan going underline being made and being dispossessed up the field, get a free, and hopefully Porrick can put it over the barn out to, to make it a level game you don't see many people stand up to Porrig like no, that Porrig Maher he, he, just drills through key, I thought he overdid it I thought he could lift the ball in quicker but he obviously didn't I suppose he three or four footers around him like you know so um, he, he thought he'd get he up the line and maybe clip it in then but no great disposition from the, from the belly gunner Porrig Maher to take it of course younger brother of Philip older brother of Michael part of the substitute and son of the great Mick Mahoney part of the great team of the 90s has he pulled it a bit right near the upright is dropping in front oh he's got it to the net would you believe the great Patrick Maher goes high fails the hole and into the back of the net yeah, what right. a what a goal here almost 20 minutes gone long ball in from Patrick was dropping short up goes Patrick Maher above all players we spoke about his brilliance as an all-star back at the net yeah just easy thing here happened underneath the crossbar like you know so that's a a goal from a, a, a party matter to this position, like you know, it's a, to, to an own goal we call it here nowadays, but um, no, uh, great lift for Belly Gunner. Belly Gunner going front, 1 5 to 6 points, that goal literally on the 20th minute, and the man acquitted as the ball goes out of the line. And David O'Sullivan plants it over the bar there. That's a great score by O'Sullivan. Has been quiet by his standards of late, but that's a super yeah. score. On back of that goal, then, that's yeah. a real momentum. Unbelievable, lift. Kieran, to 1 1 like that in the space of a minute or two. But David O'Sullivan's playing deep here and using his brain. He's out there towards the. He's walking his way back at the moment. That was a fantastic score from him. Six, top, really six points, 20 and a half minutes gone. Aidan McCormick wins it, the Army man. Drills it over into the corner. He's looking for Lar. That's the far, the scoreboard corner near the bank side town end Lar has a look takes his shot but that one is right and wide he's been deadly so far he's two points to his name but that's a third wide one six six points Gunners lead I think they are Kieran I think um, Eddie Hayden was a bit off, uh, off Lar to be honest which like you know so I'll be just keeping an eye on he's after getting two already off him like you know he's creating space I haven't seen Lar look as sharp for the last no, few years he's, he's well really like really him. especially with Ian Kenny in the corner he's been more experienced than Eddie ball in the middle of the field David Sullivan tracking back tries to get a flick on it over on the far bank near the 45 out of the line on the Tom Murphy Carcel signed down on the far side and it's a line ball to Thurla Sarsfield great lift there that goal fortuitous goal long free and the man is down under us there as well Tom Murphy not out in his own today he's in the blue seats as is always line ball over on the far side ball being taken Stephen Lillis the man who got two brilliant points the wing back and the poor ball by him he puts it back out over the line line ball to the Gunners on the halfway line momentum has dropped a bit but belly Gunner for a while Torres was starting to get the momentum but a goal and a point is really yeah, set to the Gunners as I said Kieran he got a goal in it a goal and a point in the minute each other like no not but it's a really mistake from Parry like, you know, I won't need him to tell him, tell him that like, no, but they need to drive it on no belly Gunner great opportunity Shane O'Sullivan with the line ball not the best of line balls gets it to Peter Hogan heavily strapped but he's still Mining, mining, finding t space flicks the ball in but in comes Parik Maher well blocked down by David O'Sullivan back helping would you believe is Lark Corbett inside his own 45 the 36 year old gets the ball old for Shane O'Sullivan Shane playing a lot of ball in this first half swings the ball across this could be good here because Connor Power has it can Connor get it through no overplay the man bursting out is Parik Maher the captain leading by example the captain is foul and the big large blue and white contingent from Thurlis Arsfield go to their feet he's the hero for them he may have 
given away a soft goal but he showed his determination there takes the free but referee blows the whistle it's going to be free where that ball land but again is there an umpire call again then didn't quite yeah, see what happened there um, that's great great work from Paulie Maher there to be honest with you but I thought the fantastic work from the ballet going forwards the way they're making the, the, the total centers back work so hard with the deliveries um, I think Barry Cochran's after being ca- getting caught here I say Kieran from a holding the jersey in the full forward and it's a no You've he's experienced have close to quarter he's, with Barry. Yeah, he's, he's, look, he, 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 he's on the border. Yeah, he's on the border. But look, Kilkenny did it for years, and other teams did. So why, why can't Barry? I, I just think um, no, I had, I've had a first hand two weeks ago. Like he's a central for back here. So a free, all going to be retaken again. Paulie Maher, the experienced Maher, 27 years of age, six foot two, one of the tallest on the team. Billy McCarthy would be the tallest, a six foot three, but Porrick not far behind him. Not the best of frees, not quite sure he was in, in really into no man's land, dropping inside the belly gunner half back line. And hope more than anything. Else. Shane O'Sullivan goes down to try and pick it up. He is fouled into the back, free out. Shane O'Sullivan doing very well in the middle, yeah. tracking back and wins a free. Great work from the from belly gunner again. He picked the ball off the round there, Kieran, I think. And, um, no, it's his great work again. Porrick didn't know what he was doing there, I think, with the free kill. Philip Mann, he takes it quickly. The nephew to the uncle, Shane, not the best of balls down into the corner. Steve Maher, ready, but dispossessed by Connor Power, the two goal hero of last week, has a look at it, and Power sends it over the bar. Did well there, Maher was out in front, but in fairness to Connor Power, Power, the joker of the team, rounds his man over the bar. Yeah, Kieran, I suppose the two, uh, another score, great score, like, you know, might be casual control, like Kieran, to, uh, I think the two, the, the score one, two after coming from uh, Torres Sars mistakes more than that. And he's going to have opportunities well, Kieran. Yeah, you know, Cahill and Maher knows yeah. they're changing yeah. corners the whole time. So the two cornerbacks, they're changing corners, but didn't matter. It was Conor Power who stuck it over the bar. One seven six points, 24 and a half minutes to Gunners' lead. Ball in the middle of the field. Shane O'Sullivan, sunshiny here in this bank holiday weekend in October in Walsh Park. Gunners on the attack, on the 45. Who's first to react to that breaking ball? Is that man again, Porrig Maher? Shortens the grip and sends it down into the right hand corner. Stand side, city end batted away there by Barry O'Sullivan and Ian Kenny there that, that, that full back then are so tight yeah. and really staying on top of their players line ball crowd not happy with that one then no Kieran um, it's hard one to see Kieran hard one to call I think Ian Kenny was in, uh, protesting his innocence there but no he's gone straight back in the back of his man like you know so must have been a uh, I thought, I thought the lines but it was very far away from Kieran to be honest with you he was a bit slow coming yeah, up there lines, so um yeah, Jason Smith, the linesman, this side from the line ball. The ball comes back to McCormick, steadies himself, but it's gone right and it's gone wide. Wide number four for Thurlow Sarsby. Score remains six points, one seven. Warford champions yeah. lead by four. Yeah, bad, bad wide here and on your own side of the field. They can always put a wide in the opposite side of the field. This will be telling the forwards they can know, so um, they'll be disappointed with that. A bit casual too about it. He yeah, was very, very, very casual, casual very about casual. it and uh, just, just, just didn't uh, get it right, but it's four points up to the Warford Champions 25 and a half minutes gone you're listening to George Carver scored a big match on WLR ball in the middle of the field Shane O'Sullivan what a first half he's given oh ball down into the dressing room left hand corner but in the end it's Michael Cahill all alone who comes out for it former all-star cornerback All-Ireland winner of course in 2010 and again last year sends it aside to 45 oh good play inside by Philip Manny that's super play by the man of the match from last week's county final gets it back to his uncle Shane O'Sullivan O'Sullivan sending it around to Brian O'Sullivan Oh, well caught inside by Maloney, the fullback. Clears his lines, puts them on the attack. This could be dangerous. Lar got in f- full back or full forward, but the man who wins it is Eddie Hayden. Good play by the UCC student to Wayne Hutchinson. Wayne Hutchinson to Harley Barnes. Harley, look at options. One of the options is down into the left hand corner here, in front of the stand, heading down to the town end. And in the end, good play again. Stephen Maher, but great pressure by Connor Power. He's in the yeah. corner, keeping the pressure on. Wins the line ball inside the 45, stand side, hitting into the Keen Road. As I said there, Kieran, their, their forwards are working extremely hard, like, you know, and um, they're getting the rewards. Look again, intelligent play from Paulie, the short line ball back to him again. So puck out, not the best of puck outs. Good bit of dispossession there by Michael Gahal, and a bit of afters as he loves it up towards Lar, to the experienced player. Lar has a look, Lar takes his shot, class personified by the All Star. Hurler of the year in 2010, 36 years of age, eight county medals. He hasn't lost any of it then. No, Kieran, that was a fantastic score. Like, nice, he's tore from play, Kieran. So, um, he's using his intelligence, Kieran, to come out the field and back in, like, you know. So, I don't know, Eddie has to, has to get a bit tired of him. But let's not forget, Kieran, his experience in the game, his knowledge of the game is, is unbelievable. Very much shown today. Ball in the middle of the field. Ball breaks McCormack. 
gives it back to Maher, outstanding at centre back, gets them into the half forward line now. Billy McCarthy shortens the grip, drops it in around the square. Who's first to react? Out comes Stephen O'Keefe, hand passes the ball away. <laughs> Bit tight there, but gets it to Ian oh. Kenny. Ken- Kenny works it away to Philip Mahoney, always ever available. Up into the forward line, ball dropping towards Peter Hogan there, couldn't do a lot with it. Ball played back. In the end, it goes to Ronan Maher. Ronan Maher, younger brother of the centre back, puts Torles on the attack around the 20 metre line. Barry Coughlin there in an arm wrestle with one of the forwards there in there as well. In the middle of it is Dennis Maher. 20 metres out, ball breaks. The far as Billy McCarthy. Go on! Oh, oh, what a save by Saki! Billy McCarthy he had the shot, but Stephen O'Keefe once again was up. The super save by O'Keefe. Danger still for the belly going around. What a save! Looked a certain goal. What a brilliant save on the 28 minutes by Stephen O'Keefe. But Turles are not done yet. They still have possession. Did they overplay it? The crowd roaring for a free. And dispossessed it is by Eddie Hayden, the UCD student. Oh, but he gives the ball away cheaply to Stephen Cahill. Stephen Cahill works the ball away to Dennis Maher. He's all alone. He takes his shot and sends it over the bar. Yeah, great play, Keith. Great two or three minutes build there, Keith. Um, nice height for Sock, to be honest with you. I thought he might have bought in further, maybe better. But again, he had to do what he did. And it was a fantastic save. But at the end of the game, they still got a point out of it. Yeah, point given away cheaply there by the belly gunner of defence. Did well. Stephen O'Keefe, brilliant save. Bit of overplay. Intercepted. Ball back over the bar. 178 points. Two points between the sides. Belly gunner lead by two. We approach half time. 28 minutes gone. Referee mm-hmm. column lines in the middle of the field. Inc. It's Ian Kenny receiving a bit of shade. And I must say, Shea doesn't look. Shea Fitzpatrick, the physio, doesn't look happy. Dr. Tig. No, he's is here a, as well, of course, he's and he's, a, he's staying a, down. He's not a man to go down, to be honest with you, Kieran, so he's not, you know, so let's hope he's all right because he's, he's, he's been outstanding for a while. Such an Marley, important yeah, part of the team, the 24 year old, that full back line we mentioned for himself, Eddie Hayden, Barry Coughlin have been ever present in the full back line, but he doesn't seem to be happy. And I know Dr. Tig hasn't been called yet, Dr. Tig O'Sullivan, of course, the orthopedic doc, but Fergal looks very concerned, and Shafer's Patrick has been ever a present as physio with the team but he's picking himself up gingerly not sure quite sure is it leg or a head injury but uh, he seems to be okay and Fergal pats him on the back and uh, yes, it takes a lot for uh, Kenny to stay down then he doesn't say down easy I'd say it must be a muscle injury he got no knock here and to be honest but he seems to be shaking he's, uh, he's alright he's after picking up that corporate like nose as well is he three minutes he of additional there, time so, so he's gone in on Lars three minutes of additional time here in this first half the score 178 points belly gunner leading by two Crucial goal coming from a long free by Porik Manny that ended up coming off the hand of Porik Maher, the Torlesar centre back. But from the puck out, very, very tight marking here. The ball was played out around the 45, but nobody can get into their hand. The man who has it in his hand is John Maher, the midfielder. Oh. The chairman's son is in on goal, gives the ball across to Conor Stakelham. Oh, but well intercepted inside. And the man who intercepted inside was Kenny, the cornerback, where we'd like to see him there. He has the ball now. And is he going to clear? Yes, he does. Good play by Kenny. Playing the ball up as far as Billy O'Keefe. Billy O'Keefe inside the 45. That's the Sars 45. Hand passed the ball out, really. Not quite sure he was hand passed, but he did. He gave it to Porrick. Maher, the centre back. Porrick, first half, he is, he's dispossessed by David O'Sullivan. Good bursting play by O'Sullivan. But he overcarries it in the end of play. Hans says the referee looked like he was fouled. All the belly gunner think he was fouled, but referee from Cork didn't think so. Ball now up into the corner. Sars on the attack. Connor Stakelham standing on the bank side. Flicks the ball into wing back. Or Stephen Cahill, the midfielder. Stephen, oh, poor shot by the midfielder. No problem for our Stephen. That's Stephen O'Keefe, the keeper. Great play by Saki. Out as far as Harley Barnes. Tries to get it to Brian O'Sullivan there. Again, a push on the back. And Ronan Maher all day, a few times we've seen him coming right in the back of O'Sullivan. Bit of hurdy gurdy on the sideline there, but it's going to be free for the gunners there. But Ronan Maher really living on the edge with Brian O'Sullivan. Yeah, he's, 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 he's pushed it there, I think, and he's going to get books for it. It's, uh, I think he thinks it's a book of the Finns, Ken. Oh, no, just the pushing back. the back, but he's been at it for a while then. I think getting away with putting Colin Lines is saying. He hit the way the ball here under Brian O'Sullivan, you know, so on. Yeah. Bit of, bit of in, in discipline from the Torresman on the sideline, all getting very, very excited down there. Tommy Maher, manager Paddy McCormack, of course, as we mentioned earlier, ever present. His son Patrick, the goalkeeper, and of course Maher's auntie 
is one of the McCormick, so they might be connected <laughs> down in Valley Gunner, they're connected up in a lot of family connections as there are in every club. But the free now is to Parik Mahani. Inside his own 65, two metres in, it's 1 7 to 8 points. They lead by two. This will be super score if it goes over. Yes, it's gone over the bar. Super score! by the ace marksman inside his own 65 two metres in from the sideline then it doesn't get better no that's a great score for Paul you know as I said Kieran, when you miss your first one to get the next two or three is right then uh, he, he stepped up to the mark as always for Paul 1-9 8 points Gunners lead as we approach half time 32 minutes on the clock 1 minute of addition time hard pulling near the sideline there bit of arguing as to guards whose ball it is yeah. I must say the mentors, too many mentors probably around this whole area. I'm surprised that the fourth official isn't insuring. I know yeah, he's uh, asking yeah. Fergal to go back, but there's a, a lot of Thurlis guys in blue and white around the sideline. But the line ball is to Thurlis. Aidan McCormack looking to take it quickly, but instead he's going to steady it. Looks like he's going to have a shot at it. No, instead he takes it quickly. But Parry wasn't ready for it, but he, he does very well. That's great play and skill by Maher. Drops in around the danger zone. Inside is Philip, ever present. Philip grabs it out of the air, and the referee blows for half time. Very entertaining half time. Half time score here 198 points. You're listening to the big match on WLR. Thanks to George Corbett Skoda. So the ball is in and the second half is on. Who's going to make advance to a semi-final? Long ball in from Thurlis down to Lark Corbett. Lovely handoff to Billy McCarthy on the run. This could be dangerous. Billy's going to take a shot. Oh, he sends it over the bar. It looked like a goal there. Long ball in to Lark Corbett. Give it to Billy McCarthy on the run. And the Thurlis Sars had a chance of a goal. But the wing forward sticks it over the bar. The idea start for the Thurlis Sars. Whatever was said at half time, they've come out roaring in the second half. But now it's turned for Bally Gunner. Billy O'Keefe. Billy O'Keefe offloads the ball to Porrick Mary. Can he put over the bar? Oh, that's a super score. Billy O'Keefe created the man who sends it over the bar in the tightest situation inside in the phone box. You couldn't swing a hurley, but he did an over the yeah, bar. That was goes. a great score, a great score for Paulie, but a great, oh, massive goal opportunity above Kieran, to be honest with you. Like, you know, and um, it's a let great off, start. Let off let off to be honest, because he was inside his man, he'd keep it low, he had a great goal chance opportunity. Turn the hard, hold the block. So point from each side, one nine, nine points, just one goal between the sides, and we've just played what? Less than a minute in this second half. Good, entertaining first half, second half. Just starting as Pacey from the puck out. Power, Philip uh-huh. Mahoney picks up the lovely ball and sent the lovely ball down to Brian O'Sullivan. 20 metres out. Stan Sign play, playing it into the town end. He has a look. Lovely he takes his shot and he sends it over the bar. That's, oh, poetry oh, emotion. I was all oh, referee and umpire. A certain score it looked like from here, Dan. We yeah, watched God here and we were straight in line with it. I was fascinated the way Brian just flicked the risk here and the way he struck the ball off his right hand side. Um, I definitely thought it was a score, Kieran, to be honest with you. And, um, and the, I hope no that's not controversial, yeah. Kieran. Yeah, a lot of the Belly Gunners crowd yeah. just stood up on their feet and the reaction of everybody was it was a point, but there's one umpire, he says, no score, 199 points from the puck out. Sars win it. Down to it. Pad Bork, very quiet in the first half, carries that over the line. The man who works in. Th- Semple Stadium, I'm sure he takes in a few shots at goal during his work time up in Semple Stadium. He's been quiet in the first half, yeah. and now it's a free for Belly Gunner. Yeah, Kieran, he's very quiet, but maybe that's good, good play for the Belly Gunner back. So he hasn't got on the game. And I definitely, Kieran, I just hope uh, referring there to that point doesn't Look come back. Yeah, point definitely point from where I was, like, you know, and but the reaction of everybody yeah, you can see that, right that, around. There was no question. No. And he line ball take quickly. Shane O'Sullivan, not the best of line balls, putting people under pressure. But the man who who relieves the pressure is Philip Mahoney. Mr. Consistency puts Belly Gunner on the attack, dropping inside the 45. That's the Turles Sarsfield's 45. Bit of an up tempo here in the second half. Stephen Maher, the moon tour in the corner, tries to get the ball away. Out as far as David O'Sullivan. David gets it back to younger brother Brian. But this one has gone right and wide. There was no question with this one. The last one we questioned, six wide, one nine nine yeah. points. David got away to Brian right and wide. I think it's great intelligence from Fergal Hackley to put Brian in the corner away from um, Rowan and Maher, to be honest with you, Kieran. Um, He's after having two attempts now. One was definitely over and one was just wide there. So um, I think feed him the ball. Yeah, and he's put Peter Hogan in at full yeah. forward. Second half. Really, really starting at a high tempo. Philip Manny again. Just a magnet to the ball from puck outs. Tries to feed the ball to Brian O'Sullivan in the end. Carry that over the line. It's going to be line ball to Sarah Sars. Down in front of us. In front of their dugout. Inside their own 65. Playing from right to left. Belly Gunner playing from left to right. Stephen O'Keefe down in the... Keen Road and Fergal Hartley going in, having a word with Parry. experienced Parry yeah. Manny there, and I think have a word too. 
with Stephen Lillis to boot as well. Hartley really up for this one, really fired, really focused as always. Good line ball for the Sars, playing it up to Lar down in the shop corner here. The Keynes rode in, gets the ball away to Connor Stakeland, the 19 year old, trying to flick and turn with the ball, busting forward. The county minor looked for a free and he gets a free. He was really stood up there, did very well there to win the ball. Lar just flicked it to him yeah. and he wins a soft enough free in the end, but he stood up his marker, wins a free. Yeah. Ian Kenny holds his hands up in innocence, but it's a free in. You have to be here to rate the start of the, the shielding and our car, but just the, the way the man picked the ball up after after I mean, only Lar shielded his man away, but uh, Ian Kenny's picked up Lar Carbon now, but he's kind of so sitting on top of Pabok. Gets his chance. Yeah, he's first free, I think. First here, free and, so and first score. So that, that might give him a bit of confidence, to be honest. Says a lot about it. And he sends it over the bar. It's 110. Or 1-9 to 10 points. That's just two points between the sides here in Walsh Park. Ball from the puck out goes out over the line. Stephen O'Keefe really played it tight for Billy O'Keefe and in the end out over the line it goes line ball to Turtle Stars inside their own 65 going across to take it Porik Maher the captain nominated not alone for an all-star but for hurler of the year next Friday night along with several Warford players and let's hope a big night for the Warford men of course hurler of the year in contention Kevin Moran and Jamie Barron as well but Maher concentrating on that line ball inside his own 65 puts them on the attack playing it into the corner again looking for Lar with the man covering cross is Shane Walsh the captain well read by Shane ball beat Lar but Shane was there for gives it back to Stephen O'Keefe down stand side down to the right hand side towards Brian O'Sullivan Brian O'Sullivan in a hard tussle there with Rowan and Maher has come out on top of him but the man who takes it up is Billy O'Keefe great play by Billy gets the ball back to Eddie Hayden Eddie Hayden gets a lovely ball inside good chance inside here what can happen from this one got a ball pull down it's a free but it's outside the 20 metre line there once he's got his foot in front of the marker there Connor Powers lightning pace there Hogan was near him as well he drew yeah, the free he um, gets a free outside great, the 20 metre um, great ball in there from, from, from Hayden I think into the space like you know stayed behind his man came in lovely ball for a forward yeah, to get down just ball. in front of him it bounced up he turned his man but again I think Billy O'Keefe has really started the second half getting another lot of ball Kieran and, and, and using his intelligent holding and hand passing the worry here Kieran is Brian O'Sullivan is Sullivan's down there being treated at the moment like you know and so I just hope to hit in series for him. Yeah, Brian has been started the first half or the second half very well as Parik Mahoney keeps that concentration. Yeah, sends over to our number yeah. seven for Parik Maher. Very our Parik Mahoney. It's one ten to ten points. Yeah, that, goal goal here, that, that, that goal in the first half is the difference between the teams at the moment. No, but it's, it's a great, it's a great game of hurling, Kearney for the conditions and time of the year. Um, so to, both teams are going hard at it. Like I said, uh, so a long ways to go yet with the puck out. At this stage, of course, our sympathies to the Butler family. Frank Butler, of course, the man from. Bally Bricken, of course, part of Dublin Supporters Club, a great, great Warford supporter, passed away during the week, and I'm sure he'll be looking down, hoping to see a Warford win today. But our sympathies to the Butler family and to a great Gale Club Dacia man and Dublin Supporters Club and great fundraiser for the county, Frank Butler, to all his family. We send our sympathies from the puck out. It's won by Wayne Hutchinson. Wayne Hutchinson sends it into the half forward line. That's their own half forward line. Parik Maher is there, the ever present. He's like the wall of China. Any ball going in past him, you have to earn it, and he wins that ball. Left handed with determination. The captain sends it down into the corner, looking for the experienced Lar. Lar leaves the ball run through. What can they do with this one? The man who has it without the hurley is Stakelin. What's Stakelin going to do? He gets it back as far as McCormick under pressure, takes his oh, shot, right. but he gets a free there. Looks easy enough in the end, but referee says free in for the Thurlis Sarsby. Looked an easy enough one, but they've got it. Yeah, it's 40 metres out, and it's a chance for a point. Yeah, I think he was playing advantage here for a fall on Lar, to be honest with you. Um, and that's getting to know each other down there, Kieran, which is great to see by so um no, it's yeah, just Lillis and Pori Pori Manny there down yeah. under us here but the tension Fergal they're not happy Colin McAllister smiling there the linesman but Fergal not happy with that decision yeah, and a bit of off the ball but yeah. the free is to Maher Pai Bork should put it over the bar back to a two point game yeah, it happens a lot of feet Kieran like you know it's, it's, it's not in serious there like, you know, one man tried to get a better look there, so Pai Bork sends it over the bar yeah. Bork, second, one, second for him he's second one from free very quiet in the first half now he's got two and now it's back to a two point game 110 11 points So Warford Club's record goes back to 1985. We haven't been beaten by Tipperary Club and Warford side since 85 when Teller were beaten by Kilroyan McDonough's. Will that record hold up from the puck out? Peter Hogan quite in the first half. Leg heavily strapped, but it hasn't stopped the putting over the bar. That's a great score by Hogan. As I mentioned, very tightly marked in the first half. But the DCU student makes no mistake, sent over the bar, back to a one goal league. Great score. It's a great score. Great puck out from soccer. Shane O'Sullivan is at the moving into centre forward there for the puck out only. 
and the way Sock picks him up under the high ball, breaking ball over the bar. So it's good intelligent play for the Valley Gunners. He's been outstanding this year, not alone for club but for county as well. His puck outs have been brilliant. The launch pad, the orchestrator of the defence, and really all star material. From the puck out, the man who wins it, Billy O'Keefe. He's been great in the first half and very good start to the second half but he's dispossessed as I mentioned by Stephen Cahill for the Thurless man they're coming inside the 45 there's one goal between the side but his puck out or his hand pass is very poor in comes Shane O'Sullivan Shane O'Sullivan tries to work the ball back down under us here to the cornerback and that's Eddie Hayden the UCD man gives it back to Philip Mahoney Philip sends it long looking inside for for Connor Power looked like a push in the back and I've seen that a few times today the referee says play on the man who has it is Billy McCarthy coming forward with the ball goes for a long one takes his shot that's a good score it was Lar actually in there it was Dennis Maher was the man with that red helmet Dennis takes the shot he sends it over the bar a bit against the run of play there's just two points between the side yeah two points Kieran and a shoulder injury there to Connor Power so he could be uh, hitting the ground he seems to be in discomfort out there so he does, young man, he's warmed up there. Um, yeah, Michael, uh, Michael being warmed yeah. up, an experienced campaigner, of course, younger brother of Philip and Porrig and uh, son of the great Mickey Mahoney. Yeah, but right. he's done well every time he has come in, and uh, he's a guy yeah. that's... Um, Kieran, he's, he's a great young fella. I see him there with underage at Waterford, like, you know, but he's, again, Kieran, he's a Mahoney, so um, there's another one that's conveyor belt to him lads there, so there is, like, you know, he's fellas in trouble, I'd say, young power, I think. He's yeah, it seems power. to be down, yeah, it is. Connor Power is down they don't seem to be happy about him and Shea no, Fitzpatrick out to physio a man who's been ever present Shea was around with the county team in your time then but yeah, what a servant he's been for yeah, club and county Shea Fitzpatrick unbelievable. so yes he's been a servant he's unbelievable every time we meet Shea he's the honour of shaking your hand after a game when they beat him or in defeat or in victory like you know and that's the uh, solely said here is the respect we have for and a great a great it, professional yeah really unbelievable Kieran, top as guys physio and strength and yeah. conditioning and he's been ever present I must say the Bell Gunner team the strength and conditioning is excellent yeah, and the fitness it's unbelievable the Kieran, the, the, the physique the, the way they look but I think this Brian O'Sullivan is down Kieran would you believe that I think this Brian O'Sullivan is down by the looks of it like you know so um was it Brian? his father in yeah yeah, so, um, Doctor Tig is in, so I, I, I was sure it was. Well, he's calling Hit the ground, hit the, hit the ground hard there, Kieran. So, so Tig, yeah, yeah. Tig coming on there looks, looks pretty serious. So when they call in Tig from the line, yeah. always uh, inclined to stay back. But it is Brian O'Sullivan, his son Brian. What a year he has had. One twenty yeah, eight, the Accenture man, and uh, he's been, he's been a top forward in the county all year, Kieran. To be honest with you, five, six, seven points for playing games, like you know. But he, that doesn't surprise me, Kieran, because he's a fantastic caller, like you know. It's just a pity that he can't commit. To the county scene because he, he, he he's um he never he never that tough. I suppose they're looking in a sense to have a man like yeah. Tyke Sullivan, one one of the tops when it comes to yeah, Kieran, Kieran, to Kieran, Kieran I, I, was players. I was there the night party man and he broke his leg and, and to, to be honest with Kieran um, only for Tyke it could have been a lot worse he was there on the night like you know so I think it's massive that someone of his Caliber. His caliber to be there to, to start it out. He's there now. He knows that he's doing over with Brian yeah. at the moment even he, he could be at the pot and back in even Kieran but it looks at things like you know that he needs to look at yeah, Rory, 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 Rory's out there Rory so O'Sullivan tips him on the back there and Rory yeah, what a cornerback Rory was in, oh. in, in his day part of the Sullivan clan but blood's up Kieran yeah. Yeah, he's, blood popped, up, he's, yeah. popped it, he's popped it back in Kieran if, I, if, I, if I, it looks at things like you know so um, yeah because Rory just tipped him on yeah, the back there the tight, was like working so relentlessly on it down his knees there father and son combination there and uh, tis, tis, tis in the scenario of Tig, Tig would wish for but I'm sure he's no. happy that Brian is getting up yeah, and, uh, he's, up and he's, he's picking himself up there and that would be a, great, two or, two a big lift for them two or three minutes ago you wouldn't have said that so he's putting back see Anthony Walsh down under us no he's not coming off board. no he's he's coming off yeah he's coming off and uh, seems to be in a bit of pain and uh, what a season he's having so far and what a pity he's going to end like this let's hope it's not too serious but it looks pretty serious enough in fact, he's coming off, but let's hope um, long term will be okay. Yeah, Kieran, he's a bit lost to Bally Gunner now, Kieran, with a good 15, 20, 25 minutes to go. Like, you know what I'm saying to you? Like, you know, he's, he's a massive David Walsh at the end looks like coming on. David Walsh, the UCC yeah. student there, and uh, again, a man who has seen action throughout the campaign. And David is no stranger to action with the senior team, and uh, yeah, he bit, comes uh, on. But bit, they're, they're very light of foot now, Kieran Bally Gunner, like, you know, so with uh, Rona Maher and Pauri Maher, like, you know, so. I think they'd have to hold on to the ball and run with the ball to, to, to beat him. He's a big last note, Brian O'Sullivan, because he's, he's six foot Kieran. He's a, he's a big young player. Gunner lead by two, but they're ace the marksman. Brian O'Sullivan has gone off with an injury. He's replaced by David Walsh, and time is going to be off. They lead by two. <coughs> From the resumption, Shane Walsh puts him on the attack, down into the corner. For, first chance for David Walsh. Mr. the man in the corner, Michael Kyle, the experience, the physio in the corner for them as well. Works it out to the half back line. Lillis. Lillis out to the middle of the field, gets the ball as far as John Maher, the midfielder. Maher sends it long, 
into the into the danger zone. Ball breaks now to Billy McCarthy. He has the ball in his stick. He's in on goal. Takes his shot. Sock by Stephen O'Keefe again up to the block. Ooh. Oh, it's gone over the line there. It was blocked, but the forward was there. Is it gone back in off his hurley? Is it gone into the goal? The umpire is slow putting it up, and the goal is there. The goal is there. Billy McCarthy in on goal. Looks like Conor Stakeland got the final touch on it, but they were in on goal. Yeah, a brilliant shot by Billy McCarthy. Stephen O'Keefe saved it, but was scooped over the line. Yeah, it was a, it was a great save from the sock, but I'd follow you up there, like you know, that um, Tops have gone weird, Kieran, but he snuck it into be honest with you, like you know, Conor Stakeland. But like, that, that all goes back to Brian O'Sullivan going off, Kieran. He's a massive yeah. loss to him in the forward line. Bit against the run yeah. of play there, but they take it. Stephen O'Keefe did well to stand up, and brilliant save by Billy McCarthy. It broke and scooped into the net. In the end, it was by Conor Stakeland. It's 112 to 111. Now the game really in the balance, and the Sars going front by one. Anthony Walsh making his way there. John Jeff Murphy down under as part of the stewards here as the ball has gone out over the line. Line ball over on the far side. And it's, or is it going to be throw line in? Ball, I think the ref throw in, throw in, Yeah, he's going to throw it in in the end. Referee throws in very, very quickly. Inside the Thorless 65. Bit of momentum now. Yeah. The swing is, is with the Thorless men in blue. These are crucial few minutes as they go on the attack. Well read by Eddie Hayden, the UCD student. Gets it out to the middle of the field. To Harley Barnes, he's been truly outstanding. Sends it long, dropping inside the 20. Who's first to react to it? Oh, well caught inside by Maher, the cornerback. Maher gets it out, one Maher to another. Michael Cahill has it now, former All Star cornerback. The man with two All Ireland medals puts tip on the attack. The Sars heading the ball up to Pa Burke. What's Pa going to do with this one? 112, 111. They lead by one in the second half. Here in Walsh Park, stalemate outside the belly gunner 45. Stand side here in front of the belly gunner dugout. Who can get into their hand? Nobody, it seems to be. Ah, Philip Mahoney. You'd put your house on him, and he does very well. Comes out with the ball, shortens the grip, sends it down. Up gone. to Peter Hogan in space, if he can get it away. Oh, ball just held up. Connor Power has it. What can Connor do with this one? He's been pulled and dragged, and he wins it's a free. Hogan was gone inside him. He deserves more than a free because Power had the ball. Hogan was gone inside. He had two options. Strikes to the ground, free in. And yeah, it's like, Kieran, it's just really can get up. The, the attendance here, 2,864, so a decent attendance. Yeah, great attendance, Kieran. It's all about the weather, Kieran, Forest to be honest with you, like, you know, so um, the people from over the weather, like, you know, it's good and King down under us watching every, every move, part of the hierarchy in Belly Gunner over the years. See Father Rogers down there as well. I'm sure he's given his blessing to the lads as this free is going to be taken by Parik Manny. It's dead straight in front of goal, but it's outside the 20-minute line. I'm sure he'll tap it over to bring it back all square. He's hitting into the town end. It's just right of the upright, and it should be no problem for Porrick. And it isn't. Yeah. He sends it over the bar. Number eight for Porrick. We're back level for a fourth time, Dan. Yeah, Kieran, um, that's a good score, Kieran. They're setting down the belly of our team, now, to be honest with you, after Brian gone off. And um, they needed that score, Kieran. They hadn't scored in a while, like you know. So it's an intriguing game, Kieran. bit of movement on the... Um, Sars bench here, a few of their players being warmed up. 16 minutes gone in the second half, 112 apiece. We're level here in this epic Munster quarter final. Ball goes out over the line. Porik Mahar said, Give it to me, I'm coming over to take that one. The army man, the seven county medals, or the Garda. This Garda and army, they're very well in with the defence forces. There's army and Garda all over the place here. McCormick is the army man, he's the Garda. Templemore trained him, but this hurlers, he learned he's hurling. And what a hurler this man is. The number six, line ball, takes it very well. Left-handed, in around the full back line there, coming out for it, is Philip. That short stride of his, very, very obvious, a lovely swinging around. He was in the corner, but he gives it back to Stephen O'Keefe, who's all alone. He opens the shoulders, the Bank of Ireland man sends it long, up into the full forward line there. But who's first to react from the breaking ball is Parik Maher, goes back. Hits the deck, but he tries to play it away. Did he overplay it there? Play on, says the referee. I'm giving you a free, he said. And he's given him the free there. Yeah. He lost the hurley in the transaction, but the referee says, you were foul first, free out, yeah. relief for Porrick. So it was a free, Kieran. Um, so to, to be honest with you, he, he gained the ball. I think he's, he's dominating the game now at the moment, Porrick Man. To be honest with you, like Porrick Man, he's got a man-man job. The sun is back out again. 17 and a half minutes gone in the second half. It's 112 apiece. Don't forget, Strictly Dance is on September 11th of November. One of the contestants down under, Tommy Hennessy, looking as fresh and fit as ever. Maybe one of the elder statesmen at this dance night, but he's one of the favourites by all accounts. But the favourites for today are Thurla Sarsley. They're 6 to 4 on with the bookies, but so far it's even Stephen. It's 112 apiece. The sub being wrong. Connor. St- uh, it looks like Tommy Doyle. Harry Cockton got a yellow card here, Kieran, so uh, I'd say for a. Uh 
So second yellow. Something, something, the umpires, something the umpires saw. Yeah, so Barry gets the second yellow for the belly gunner men. But they now have to deal with a long free that drops out 30 metres out. What can they do with it? They're trying to scoop it away. Shane Walsh hits the deck, tries to scoop it out. He's near the 45 metre line. That's the belly gunner, 45 metre. But taken up in the end by Philip. Philip Manny sends it up, looking for Peter Hogan, covering back his power. Paul Rigmar, outstanding. Oh, well blocked down by David O'Sullivan. And into the run goes... Hogan takes his shot but rushes that one, sends it right and wide. He had time, he had space, could have taken it on. Yeah, he Kieran. should have kept going then. Yeah, definitely, Kieran. He should have kept going with the pace, Peter. Ooh, has to. He should have been there space inside in front of him. Plus, plus three against two, Kieran. Like, probably a probably goal opportunity. Like, you know, so um, I'm disappointed that I get, get nothing out of that. So, Pat uh, Burke being called ashore, the man coming on is Tommy Doyle, grandson of the great Tommy Doyle of the 50s. He was part of a five in a row team. In the 50s, of course, they did as well in the 60s, but they've now done a four in a row, and these boys are well bred up around Thurles. Down on our right there, we're waiting for a puck out. It's 1.12 apiece, Dan. It's 19 minutes gone. Is anyone's game? Anyone's game, Kieran. I think, um, they, they, will, will the six or seven weeks in a row catch Belly Gunner at the end of their fitness levels, or will the three weeks three weeks break for uh, Thurles Sars, their hunger for the game, will, will, they, will they come out on top? It's interesting, Kieran. I think Philip Mahoney's gone on top, and so has Paulie Maher in both defences. So it is. So um, I think whoever break him down, um, Parig Maher, Parig Mahan, he's been man marked there by Ellis. Ellis, I think, at the moment. So um, a few of the guard even right yeah, around us the here. They're, they're, they're keeping an eye on us. I hope they're not coming for me, Kian. Fuck the fuck out. <laughs> Who's first to react to? It's the substitute, Tommy Doyle. First touch for him. He has a look, shortens the grip, sends it in around to the full forward line. Covering back there is Philip again. Philip Mann, he's been everywhere this afternoon. And been. he picks the ball again, but drops it again under pressure from these Torless men. Not an inch being given from either side. Oh, that's great play by Wayne Hudson. Came in, gives it back to Shane O'Sullivan. Shane O'Sullivan, the moon tour, drives it long, down into the corner it goes. What can they do with this one? They have the ball. This is a chance for him. David Walsh, the substitute, takes his Score, shot. Right. Oh, it's gone over the bar. That's a super score. The former UCC student did well to win that ball. Again, Philip Manny was involved in defence, but yeah. great score by the substitute, and that's a super score. Puts yeah, him back in front. It's something Belly Gunner will be doing all year, Ken. When you have the head up, the, the diagonal ball. Shane O'Sullivan, great ball to, to, the, to David Welch, and he put over the bar. Yeah, yeah Philip won it, give it back to yeah. Shane O'Sullivan. He gave a 60 yarder all the way up to substitute David Welch to go back in front, but now it's the Sars on the attack. That man again, Lark Corbett. Oh, good bit of experience shown there by Ian Kenny against the experienced Lar. Back to help near the side, like out over the line. That's good play by, by the full back line there. Lar yeah. there, ever dangerous, but good play by the oh, defence. Yeah, I think if he got up, he, 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 he could have got a score, but again, a simple mistake here and pick up two hands. Uh, this time of the year, supposed to end yeah, yeah, two hands. Kieran, and I suppose Lar, Lar with his experience thought he'd get up with one. And this weather, Kieran, you won't get away with it. 20 metres. Out from the belly gunner goal, shop side or keen throw it in of the stand. It's in front of the stand here. Great crowd here, enjoying every minute of it. Good crowd over on the far bank as well. It's a club quarter final. It's the Munster Club, but it's Thurlisars against the Gunners, two of the kingpins of club hurling over the last 25 and in Thurlis a scenario of 50 years of tradition. Line ball, not the best of line balls, keeping the pressure on, on Billy O'Keefe there, who can get into their hand, nobody can, but the man who finally gets in is Lillis, who got two lovely points in the first half, he's the halfback, gets the ball across to the big man, Dennis Maher, Maher gives it to Tommy Doyle, he's going long, has it gone over, oh it's left and wide, right. first wide of the second half, far the stars. And it was the yeah, heat and hope here more than that. Never, never took any look again. Great puck over oh, Stephen O'Keefe, a lovely ball. Oh, that's a super score to Billy O'Keefe. What can Billy do with this one? Billy shortens the grip. He takes his shot. Is there a tail on it? Hello. Oh, the ice and wide there. We had to watch it all the way. The umpires watched it all the way, but they watch it go right and they watch it go wide. Yeah, great intelligence. Get some sock and goal to pick out his brother there, like you know, a family, family thing. But his puck outs all day yeah, have been fantastic. Fantastic, like, you know, so on. So, so down the right, McCormick with the puck out. What can he do with this one? He's going long. He's going straight down the middle for the Sars. They want to attack. Going high is Shane O'Sullivan in the sun. He does well to get it on the second attempt. High, high tackle looked like by Parik Maher, but he gets it away. Shane does to David O'Sullivan. Is that gone over? All the way. Oh, it's right and wide. Several yeah. times we've yeah. seen him. Yeah, he pulled the back here for the free. I'm not a big fan of that here, to be honest with you. I think Valley Gunner had the advantage. And they're going to have the advantage, like you know, and, and, and they never, um, they it, had they, it they, never they accrued. Avoid, no, it didn't, but they had, they had the chance to get a score, like you know, so to bring it back up. You get a double chance. Yeah, a double chance. Like, I don't agree with you, Ken. You have two or three seconds to get it and, and score, and if you don't, like you know, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's a bit a like the rugby. They leave play yeah. develop, and if you don't, you bring it back. I mean, but like, um, it mean. is probably a bit harsh for it, but look, we'll right. take it. It's 113, 112. Tiger Sullivan on the line there. I see Brian there 
holding that shoulder and looks looks a bit in pain yeah, and um, Kieran, boy, to be honest with you, like, you know, especially when his father's there he must be in pain yeah Gordon Ryan having a word part of the backroom team of course he was manager in Banish Store when they won it in 01 seems a, a long long while ago Parik Manny miss hit his free it's in around the edge of the square oh. oh the goalie did well there under pressure McCormack there wasn't expecting it but did well to clear his lines and gets it out to the half back line and Cahill sends him out towards the middle of the field ball now with Maher they're on the attack that's the man from Turles ball gone out to Lar. what can he do with it Fails to control that one. Philip Mahoney. Six foot two, but Philip Mahoney back down his knees. That's great play by Philip near the end line, but he doesn't get out over the line. Oh, gives the ball away to um, Ian Kenny there. He's under a bit of bother there. It's on the sideline, it's down near the corner flag, and on the left hand side of the, of the stand, Fails. Ian Drawed in. Bit of a high tackle there. And in the end, this fella's just losing the right there for no need. But uh, again, yeah. Philip Mahoney was back to pick it up. But Billy McCarthy came in high, and referee had no option but free out relief for Belly Gunner. Yeah, I think Philip, he, he's after opening maybe an old wound, I don't know, but he, he, he's the helmet off. But no, he's okay. He's, 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 he's a great, great win. 24 minutes gone. We had a few stoppages. Long stoppage, of course, yeah. for Brian O'Sullivan. Yeah, but there's six minutes left, Dan. Ten minutes to hang on. Yeah, definitely. Can, there's no way to go get Kearnas. Ten minutes at least to be played in this game. Like, you know, so, um, it's anyone's game. Anyone's game, yeah. So Stephen O'Keefe coming out to take this one. The Bank of Ireland man, based in Bagger Street, but never missed a training session. Fergal organised a few sessions in Carlow, a halfway house for the six or seven belly gunner lads based in Dublin. O'Keefe gets it as far as Steve. Shane O'Sullivan. Shane sends a lovely ball across to David Walsh. He has got one. He's the substitute. Is there a second point in the number 18 from the sideline? He's looking for number two. Is it going to go over? But it's gone right and wide. That's wide number nine for Belly Gunner. Score remains. Belly Gunner 113. Sars 112. One point between the sides. Yeah, one point here. Again, great, great, great and free from sock to Shane Sullivan diagonal ball. And just a misfortune. David is supposed to have to get in the first one, Kieran. Karma with the puck out, dropping inside. 65, it's Philip Mahoney again putting him on the attack. Shane Walsh coming out for this one, making himself very much available. Scoops it out to David O'Sullivan again, trying it with one hand. Can he get into his hand in these conditions? It's difficult, very near the sideline. McAllister, the, the linesman, the standby referee, is standing in front of him, but they managed to clear their lines. Lillis for the Turlesman gets up as far as Billy McCarthy. He's a big, powerful man. He's six foot three, the biggest on the team, but he's been policed by Porrick Manny gives a lovely ball back to Lillis Lillis on the attack shot is a grip he's going for number 3 but it's gone left and wide number 6 for Sars Gunner still lead 113-112 yeah I suppose after getting two key and he would have fancy chances there with the left hand side really should have I said putting wide on the, yeah, his own side he's a is a sin to be honest. You always go wide in the far side. You're putting a wide here, no. But a great opportunity there for that to, to draw them. Michael O'Brien coming on. The man coming off. Conor Stakeland, the man who got the fortuitous goal, but outside the goal, he wasn't really in it. But he's going to warm me up some more men down under us here. So it'll be interesting to see who's, who's going to get the call. Barry, Barry O'Sullivan. O'Sullivan. Is the man part of the O'Sullivan clan? He could be coming on very, very shortly. Shafus Patrick gets him to warm up very, very quickly. From the long puck out by Stephen O'Keefe, it's on the Sars 45 line. Who's going to get the breaking ball? Is it a man in white and blue? Yes, it is. It's Ronan Maher coming forward. He sends it long. Again, he's looking for the big man, Lar. Lar tries to get it in his hand in the first attempt. Gets it on the second. Tries to make room for himself. The turtle is public and shortens the grip, but it's not a good shot. It's going to drop short. Stephen O'Keefe comes out and controls it. Good play by O'Keefe. Gets it out to Harley Barnes inside his own 45. Down our left. Keen's road end. Sending it down now into the town end. Who's there to react to it? This Conor Power and two... Men in blue and white, one of them is centre back Maher. Maher gets it back to McCormack, the keeper. He gets the ball out as far as Dennis Maher operating out around the middle. The big number 14 puts them on the attack down near the dressing room corner. Sars really trying to really punish the Gunners men as they have tried to get the ball in their possession. But again, it's a man coming away with it. And that man down there this time. It's Philip Penny again, but not the best of clearances. All the ball goes to Maher. Maher with a shot. Maher takes his uh, chance, and Maher sends it over the bar. Yeah, Valley Gunner. We're back level again. Valley Gunner had retreated back there, Kieran, and left him free to balance, which a uh, miss hit from Philip and was here severely punished. He was left all alone for that. The ball was worked back to him, and in the end, he sticks it over the bar. We're level for a fifth time. Yeah, that's five, ten minutes, five minutes, Kieran. Five to eight minutes now would be interesting. Conor Powers, the man being called ashore, the man who got the two goals in last week's county final, and the man coming on is Barry O'Sullivan. Is there another score, another goal in the Gunners? Warmed up down under as well as Kevin O'Gorman. JJ Hudson coming Curtis up here. So they're, they're JJ they're using coming. the pinch by, yeah. So they are. No point in waiting, I no. suppose. Time is ticking down. The stopwatch says 15 minutes, but we had that long, long few stoppages. Pished. 
Conor Power just struggled here and up in. Yeah, Conor, Conor Power was, hadn't gone off. He was coming off. Won the ball there. That could have been interesting if he had put it over the bar. But Conor Power be signalled to come off. He was running off. Grabbed the ball. JJ hadn't come on. So it was 60-60 there. But JJ wasn't 50-50 to 60-60 no, because... Yeah. Uh, he was coming off, he yeah, hadn't come and off, and JJ hadn't come on, so... There's, there seemed to be some problem here, Kieran, at the moment. Yeah. Or was it Billy O'Keefe? Billy O'Keefe was to come off, and, and Conor Power, it's in, and JJ's on it, as well as um, Barry O'Sullivan. Yeah, Billy O'Keefe is on, it looks like Conor Power off then for... Um, yeah, for um, JJ. JJ, yeah, so... They're using the bench here. Yeah, Kieran, it's, uh, it's a couple of minutes to go, like, you know, so... We're level, here. In Walsh Park, long puck out for the Turtle Sars men. Was there a foul on Maher as he went for that ball? He's been outstanding today, the centre back from flag fall from the very start. The guard here, not sure if there are some of his colleagues there, but they were cheering him on here as he went for that ball. He takes the free very, very quickly. Ball goes into Aidan McCormack. He's already got two. He's looking for a throw, dispossessed by Shane Walsh. Good play by the joint captain, the electrician. Dead the sponsor, Eddie, I'm sure, he's somewhere in the crowd cheering him on. Puts them on the attack, but it's Maher again. To stop any any attack that's going forward but he's dispossessed but the ball squirts out the first to react to it is tommy doyle the number 17 son of the legend that was tommy jimmy was another hero for the stars but what heroes they have here today harley barnes has been the hero really with belly gunner as well gets it to shane o'sullivan shane is going long looks a good one yeah. oh it's gone over that's a super score by o'sullivan the 32 year old the experienced campaign are literally minutes, standing on the line. Like four they minutes. go back in front. Four minutes of additional time. It'll be like a lifetime yep. for Fergal and his backroom team. What a team. score from Shadow Sullivan. Experience. What a Looked score up. there. Looked, Looked up. up. We've had a few down. bad wides, but that wasn't a wide. That was over the bar. Great score, Shadow Sullivan. Well done to the Moon Tour. Lily will be happy with that one. They win from the puck out. They're on the attack again. Covering back. Oh. Winning that ball. Go on, and the ball just breaks to Hogan. Hogan has a chance. Must take it. Oh, kicks it over the bar there. He had a chance from the long ball. His hurley was being caught, but he went for the boot. Not for down for the football. Had a certain goal. Kicked it over the bar. Yeah, Kieran, he could have bought it. Yeah, I would have, Kieran, I would have bought it a bit further and kicked it in, to be honest with you. Like, you know, but it's easy to stay safe standing up here, Kieran. But a super a score, an important one. score. They got two up at the right moment from the puck out. Wayne Hutchinson wins it. Good play by the centre back. Again up to Hogan, coming more into it. The man with the heavily strapped tie doesn't seem to be interfering. Ronan Maher picks it up. The All Star half back tries to feed him into the attack. Covering back to Shane O'Sullivan. A lovely play by Shane. Scoops the ball away to David O'Sullivan. Carry the ball. The yeah. independent group, man, they're under a bit of pressure. You don't leave it there for Parik Maher, the captain. Maher tries to win it forward. Gets the ball away. They take wide their ball, shot. Ball, and it's yeah. gone left. And it's gone wide. Wide number seven, Dan. Yeah, here, man. But that score was very, very important. Oh, massive, here, to be honest. Goal was on, but the yeah, point was crucial. Yeah, they got something out of it, here, to be honest, which was vital, like, you know, but uh, again. And they're going to drop the numbers back, like you know. So I, I can't see Tola Sars getting the goal, and I can't see him getting two or three points to win again. So the sun is shining, will it be shining in a few moments? 2001 is a long, long way back, but this is only a quarter final. The winners play the clear champion six mile bridge in the semi final. If it's Bally Gunner, it's here next Sunday. But there's three minutes of additional time left of, of the four. From the puck out, they win it. Maher has it, the danger man, the captain. He leads an example. From the sideline, he takes Point his mark. shot, but it's gone right and wide. It's gone right and wide at a crucial stage. The centre back tried to do what the forwards couldn't do, right and wide. Yeah, and he's forced to cure and I suppose he need a bit of time there to get there. Like, like they'll have the two chances there during the last couple of balls. He's been a hero for them. Rattler Byrne was under here as Tommy Doyle, Jimmy Doyle, but Parik Mahar is up there with him. Owen Kelly is one of the tip heroes. He's on their sideline, but can he turn this tide around? There's two points between the sides. As we enter the last two minutes of the additional four, they have possession. The midfielder has it. It's John Maher going forward. Gives it to his midfield partner, Cahal. He takes a shot and he sends it over the bar. It's back to the minimum, Dan. And yeah, there's only two a minutes minute to go here in the back to the minimum. So it's be interesting, Kieran. So it is a great score. Great going down the middle there from, from Johnny Maher to... It's midfield midfield Cal, like, yeah. you know, so, um, so, so a great score. Like, Tim you know, O'Sullivan right being warmed up. Fergal about to throw his yeah. last days. Pat McCarthy is down there. What a servant he's been to Bally Gunner over the years. Great to see him on the line for the Gunners. From the book out, Ronan Maher wins it. Gets the ball to McCormack. The momentum seems to be with the blue and white men. Now they play it down into oh, the corner. Barry. Corner. Well played, Barry Coughlin there. Read it all the way. Good play by Barry. Back to 
He has, he has options. Who does he give it to? Harley Barnes, who's in a bit of bother. Harley gets it back. Oh, back helping. Was Philip Mann? He sends it along at the other end. Ronan Maher, glorious catch by Maher. Gets the way to Stephen Maher. Maher's all over the place and all over the moment. Yeah. The ball goes to Lark Corbett in space. A chance for the equaliser by Lark. Takes his shot yeah. and it's gone over the bar. It's gone over the bar by the genius of Lark. Four from play. Quite for a while. Gets the opportunity between the post. Dan will have extra time. Yeah, it looks like this is an important, this is an important puck out here now, so just to be honest with you. Like, you know, my total assets have the momentum. They're after putting two balls wide there. So this is a massive puck Tim over. Tim Sullivan waiting to come up to number 19 there. Will, they, will, will he get a Great chance? Rory is asking him to get on. Rory O'Sullivan parts of the backroom team, but we'll follow the play from the puck out. Oh the ball is won oh. in their own half by Stephen Maher. It's a high tackle on Stephen Maher. It's just outside his own 45, and they're well capable of putting over this one. No better man than Lahr. He's going back to take no, his hand. Oh, it's not here. Rory is the Rory Maher is the man, I'd say. Yeah. But, but it's further back than that then. It's near to the 45 now. It's near yeah, to the 45. It's way near to the 45. Oh, I, 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 Colin McAllister is wrong there, thank God, Kieran, to be honest with you, because he was fouled out there where, where, where um, Pauly Manning was, like, you know, so. So it's just outside yeah. the 45, Colin McAllister, the Cork linesman, stand by referee, and it's Ronan Maher going to take it a metre outside his own 45. He's going to drop it in around the kitchen. Ball. Who's going to react to this one? It's gone high, ball drops. Who's first to react to it? Was there a foul on the ground? It's referee blows his whistle. We're going to have extra time. We're going to take a quick break, but don't go away. We've only a few minutes stoppage here. There's going to be extra time. It's ended all square, and it's going to be 15 minutes aside, extra time. And the huge crowd here stand to their feet and applaud at both sides yeah, of what entertaining it's, it's, 60 minutes. I believe we can. 1.15 apiece for this time of the year is fantastic, so it's on. We're going heavy to undergo, heavy, heavy undergo. We're going to take a quick break. Don't go away. We'll be back just in a few minutes. You're listening to The Big Match on WLR. Thanks to George Corbett Skoda. Yes, welcome back. A chance to get our breath there. It's ended all square. One fifteen apiece. Great excitement, but there's 15 minutes aside to go. We're joined by former Warford Belly Gunner captain and proud Belly Gunner man, Stephen Franklin. Stephen, what an epic, but uh, one fifteen apiece. We have to do it the extra time. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm breathless, Kieran. It's, it's been absolutely fabulous. Well, I, I presume it's been fabulous. It's very hard to be objective about it when you're, when you're. Uh, when you're taking sides here today but uh, it's been a fabulous battle and really there's been very little in it we got a bit of luck with the goal in the first half but uh, Turles have come back into it you know two two major points I think one is Brian O'Sullivan going off and secondly the fact you've been week and week the last six or seven weeks where Turles are the fresher will that tell in the extra time yeah absolutely I think you know I, I just said to Dan there like that Brian O'Sullivan was uh, like he's one of our danger men up up front and uh, it, they were they were looking after him big time. They weren't double marking him, but close to it. And um, the, him going off is is a, a big blow. But as well as that, you could see in the last ten minutes we just couldn't hold the ball up in our forward line because there were so many heavy legs. And that's probably the the seven or eight or nine weeks that they've been on the road. You know, so it's it's starting to tell. So I think substitutions are going to be massive now. Tomas McCarthy, what an epic! Oh, absolutely, Karen. And look, I think. No, Pelle Gunner probably should be in the semi-final. Whistle column lines, the experienced column throws it in. Who's going into the semi-final? Will the extra time be a bridge too far for the men in black and red after these six or seven weeks of horrific play? From the throw in, Barry O'Sullivan wins it there for them. Coming across is Tommy Doyle. Again, the substitute for who came on in the second half. Wins that ball, fresh pair of legs for the Torless man. Has it in the middle of the field. Hand passes the ball away to no man. And But the wrong man has it for their point of view. It's Harley Barnes. Harley opens the shoulder. They're playing from right to left. They're playing it down into the dressing room corner. Coming across is JJ Hutchinson. First real touch for JJ. Younger brother of centre back Wayne. And passed the ball away there under a bit of pressure. Get as far as David Walsh. Got that great point. He gets it back to JJ on the 20 metre line coming down near the tunnel corner. What can he do with it? He's a very tight angle. Turns his marker. Will he try and play it back? Yes, he does. A chance for Walsh for his second. Shortens the grip. Takes his shot. Oh, it's gone. 65 it looked like but it's lift and wide I thought it was Uh, a 65 thought it came off the keeper there good scoring opportunity there well worked from Belly Gunnar um, here and so two substitutes there very much involved in it puck out McCormick with the puck out just one minute gone of extra time if you've just joined us it finishes 115 apiece in normal time Harley Barnes wins it good play by the midfield dynamo oh just give it away there in a bit of rush Shane O'Sullivan back to try and pick it under pressure this is where the striking condition will tell this will tell the fresh legs the determination more in part 
people who have pride in the jersey and spirit at digs deep Shane Walsh the captain drives it down into the corner was that a push in the back back, yes there's the referee there and the full back Cahal Maloney there holds his hands out free in and JJ Hutchinson there played for that well yeah, he's been he, showing well in the extra time you he literally the there, then like you wouldn't here. do it better yourself man I would never it take me a week to fall down like that here and so too but I know and getting up by me <laughs> no he but used his, he used his, um, his crucial free, there, crucial free to take it yeah. we wanted a good start for the extra time Anthony Walsh makes his way back in to the seat of course treasure of the after that steak <laughs> that'll be afterwards <laughs> but it's going to be the free Porrick Manny, bit of hush coming over Walsh Park. He's hitting into the Keynes Road end, left the centre, takes his shot, and between the posts it goes all the way. 1 9 for the ace, sends it over the bar. More importantly, the lead for Belly Gunner. They lead by one. Yeah, it's an important free here and setting down the Belly Gunner. That's two minutes gone in this extra period. McCormick down our left, sun going down here in Walsh Park. Sends it across to Billy McCarthy. He's the go-to man in the half-forward line. The six-foot-three man. He leaves the ball through for John Maher, the midfielder, coming up the sideline. Oh, hand past the ball, but intercepted well by Philip Mahoney. Gets his clearance in. It's not one of his best when it goes high. Cut off by Porrick Maher. What a 60 minutes he had in the first period here in Walsh Park. Putting him on the attack. They're inside the 45. It's over on the far side. Belly Gunner leading by one. Back to Tommy Doyle. Tommy Doyle gets it back to the captain. Just outside the 65. He's going long. Is it tailing right? Yes, it is. It's right and wide. Wide number nine. Porik Maher went long, went right, went wide. Three minutes gone of the extra time. Belly going to still lead by still one. Still lead by half a chance for Porik. Bit of a distance, Kieran, but uh, he'll be disappointed. Uh, great poke out again from Sock. Socky gives it a great cut by Harley Barnes as he was going away from his play. Gives it away to Peter Hogan. What can he do with it? The star under 21 takes his shot. Oh, well blocked down inside there by the experience of Michael Cahill. But he can't get his clearance away. Hogan didn't expect him to come in, but he did. And in the end, it's going to be cleared the lines by Maher. Maher sends it long. Good scoring chance gone a begging for the Gunners there with Hogan. But the experience of Cahill showed there yeah. and it's gone over, over the line there. He had his chance there then. Half a chance and he's doing a stretch in Peter at the moment. So he is... Uh, yeah, that hamstring is very heavily strapped. So let's over, hope so, um, he'll survive. So already, there, yeah. As we mentioned, yeah, they had Red the chance. Ball he must take every chance. Good line ball. Plus Harley Barnes. He's been outstanding. Doesn't come up from the first attempt. Tackling very, very hard as Barry O'Sullivan in the middle of the field. But it's the tallest men who win the ball. Trying to work the ball inside to the big man, Dennis Maher. What can he do with it? He's outside the 45. Looked like steps from here. He turned and twisted, but the belly gunner lads thought so, but not the referee. Back to intercept. Wayne Hutchinson. Stand side. But that ball is a bad ball. Literally over the head of the manager, Fergal Hartley there. And that was a poor ball by Wayne Hutchinson. Did well to win it, but his clearance didn't give him a chance. Out over the line. Line ball. Middle of the field. Coming out to take it. Porik Maher. They're playing into the city end. Down here on our right. Line ball. Ron is taking his yeah. time with this one. He's teeing it up then. Yeah, Kieran. Um, is he going to have a crack? Yeah, you know, oh, no, too far out, okay. Kieran. Oh, yeah, he's, far, he's got it high. He's getting yeah. around the kitchen there. Who's, <coughs> who's going to get a touch on it? Lara's releasing inside, but it's Philip Mahan again. What a game he's having. Brilliant last Sunday in the county final. Equally to the head up hurling. Gives it back to Stephen O'Keefe. Lovely vision by Philip Mahan. Out to Stephen O'Keefe. Saki coming out. Wouldn't want to overplay this one. And passes the ball away to Shane O'Sullivan out near the 65. What can Shane do with this one? Flicks it on to Barry O'Sullivan, the nephew. Barry has a look. Barry takes his shot. Oh, it's left and wide there. Lovely build up. But unfortunately for Barry O'Sullivan, it's gone wide. Yeah, Kieran, I'm disappointed there, Barry. But he's shot. But again, the backs, Barry Gunner, backs in midfield on top again. Five minutes gone of the first period of extra time. Barry Gunner leading by that one point long puck out gone out over the line there and it's going to be line ball to belly gunner so they're keeping the pressure on them yeah. they're fighting on their backs they are Kieran and that's what county champions do like you know and the, so they do represent their, they represent their parish and their county at, at this level Kieran so they're, they're in this game beat them Kieran so line ball inside their own 65 <coughs> gone back to take it Shane O'Sullivan not the best of balls covering back is John Maher the midfielder he's been good for the Sars Michael Cahill is in there to try and help him just inside their own 45 but gunners forwards to their credit, keeping the pressure on. David O'Sullivan comes away with it, has a look, takes his shot. That's gone over the bar from the sideline. 
Super score, younger brother Brian might be gone off and Ty punched the air with that one. Yeah, That's uh, a super score, Great Brian. work from the forward, great work from um, Park Mahoney there, like, you know, to say, oh, kick out the ball, David, so a great score. He's, he did it the county final last week here and he, he started like a From train. the sideline between the post it goes, they go two up and the centre forward puts him in front. Sharp puck out by McCormick to Michael Cahill. Michael wasn't really ready for that one. He gets away to Stephen Cahill. Peter no Hogan relation, no. sends it down into the corner, could be dangerous. Peter Hogan stretching there down under us as Barry Coughlin picks up that ball. Gets it back to Stephen O'Keefe down the right. The Gunners goal. He gets it out as far as Philip Mahoney. He opens the shoulders. He sends it long, but Peter Hogan is definitely under pressure. Was there a late, late chance for there that? as yeah. he hit that ball? It's dropping on the 45. Looks like Peter yeah. Hogan, unfortunately, the hamstring here. in fairness to the young lad. Yeah. He's, he's been he's struggling in the last few weeks with it. He was heavily strapped, but he has to come off, I would think. That's the thing here with seven or eight weeks in a row. Like, you know, he's injury prone, Peter. Like, Plus, you know, he's carrying the injury yeah. too, Daniel. I think he's, he's, he's calves, Kieran, if I've been honest. He's stretching his calves most of the lot there, but I think he'll be replaced now. There's a free there. Lara got a kind of a silly booking because. The ball has had to be cleared there on, on, on Philip Manny, like you know. It could, but, um, be, it could be Timmy. It could be costly. Timmy could be O'Sullivan costly has been warmed up and Billy O'Keefe has been warmed up as well, so we could see Billy coming back on. But yeah. Tim O'Sullivan, younger brother of Brian and David, coming on. And Brian, of course, off injured. On comes Tim O'Sullivan, younger member of the, of the clan and studying with KPNM, KPNMG, but. He studies aren't worrying him now. He's yeah. getting his chance, and you've seen him in action. He has the ability. Yeah, to knock, knock the scores. Like Kieran, he's, he's, an, he's another, another brother to the boys. Like you know, he, he's an intelligent. So the free is from like, where the ball landed there. Yeah. Then sends it over the bar. Sorry, well that sends it over the bar there. So from where it landed, that's yeah. good play by the referee. Yeah, late yeah, tackle yeah. from late the tackle and A ridiculous tackle here, because the ball was after being gone. Like you know, it's clear. It's great score for Belly Gunner two up now. I think. So Dennis Maher comes off for the Turtle of Sarsfields men. And it's Conor Stakeland with the man being called ashore. The man who got the goal. So two points separate the sides. My stopwatch says eight and a half minutes gone in the first period of extra time. It was 115 at normal time. Now it's 117 belly gunner, 115 to the men from Thurl of Sarsfield. Brian O'Sullivan off of that serious shoulder injury. If they were to win today, I doubt if he'd be available for next week when they take on Six Mile Bridge. But they're not worried about Six Mile Bridge. Thurl of Sarsfield are still the team to beat. And what a team they would be to beat. Line ball from the All-Star. Gets the ball inside to the danger zone. Taken down by Michael O'Brien. But he sends it left right. and wide there. That was a bad wide yeah, bad by word. the substitute. Won it well, but sent it right. Yeah, but so Kieran, he caught a great ball there. He panicked a bit under pressure, and uh, he had more time than he thought and put a wide. Like, you yeah, know he what? rushed that. He did. I thought he might be pulled back even, but look. Are they going to there, maybe? O'Keefe goes long, out to the middle of it. You can see the sunshine there with, with the players. Not quite able to see it. Nothing worse than the, an autumn sun that's going down in the skies. But Wayne Hudson picks up a breaking ball, drops it inside the 45, tried to drop inside the 45. Cahill Maloney dispossesses for the men from Thurla Sarsfields inside their own 65 they trail by two points that's great play by the belly gunner forwards hassling every Thurlis back that tries to come out with the ball there a bit of stalemate yeah. Shane O'Sullivan in there but the man who comes away with it is Tommy Doyle the lead what a name to have for any young from Thurlis Ars he gets it away in it goes now there's a chance for him as Billy McCarthy he's the big man he gets it back to midfielder Cahill yeah. was he foul yes says the referee had to be a free referee blows his whistle a free in and a chance to bring it back to one but Tommy Doyle grandson of the legend Tommy yeah, Doyle he's made a big impact he, he has Kieran to be honest when he, gets the, when he gets the ball he runs with it like you know so um, again to the free Kieran to uh, bring it back to a point so it was, it was a half a goal chance Kieran if the hand pass it came off like you know but good work from the, from the, from the Tommy Doyle there setting up the play so if this goes over it puts him to 116 so there's just two yeah, points between the sides then two Kieran is it yeah two yeah yeah confusion there yeah, with, yeah. That, with that score some people thought it wasn't over but it was over so it's 118, 116, a lot of confusion with that umpire down here on our left and even that scoreboard over on the far side yeah, with the sunshine is difficult to, to see, yeah, no, we to see as well then, but there's two points between the sides, it's yeah, 118, 116, so a point that people weren't sure if they'd got or not, they actually got it, so it's 118 to 116. Yeah, there's, there's um, like four minutes left, three or four minutes left to, to half time here in Pelagon, we're happy with this. Sun goes down, Stephen O'Keefe prepares to hit it out. Four minutes of this first period of extra time in a 1-2 with Ian Kenny. O'Keefe gets the ball away to Barry Coughlin. Barry out towards the middle of the field. What can the Gunners do with it? Walsh, the captain, tries to get it away. 
towards the middle of the field they ran into a spot of bother on his own 65 bit of overplay by Belly Gunner what are they going to do with this one Shane O'Sullivan comes in that's well won by Shane gets the ball away to Wayne Hutchinson the elder statesman of the team played the ball down into the corner what can they do with this there good chance there for yeah. JJ Hutchinson there Pretty showed too much with there lovely bit of play between Wayne yeah, and he, Shane O'Sullivan he, he, line ball Wayne looked up and saw the run from JJ from, from, from JJ like you know a great great um, great, great vision great vision but yeah uh, Good play from the full back there for Cahill Maloney. Great block down here. Great block down on JJ, yeah. but it goes out over the line. It's a line ball coming True. across the deck is Porik Maher, about 35, 40 metres out then. Could he have a crack at it? Oh, definitely, Kieran, yeah. They'd see the lads there before training. We were trained to be having cracks nine balls, so please go ahead and play will off. He have a crack for the Willie. Is he looking at an option? I think he's keeping that concentration. It's he's covered fairly well. It's gone looking dangerous. Oh, look oh, just dropped under the crossbar there. McCormick's yeah, in. And the half time whistle goes. And the half time of the first period of extra time. It's 118, 116, just two points between the sides. We'll take a break, take a quick break. We'll be back in a few minutes for that last period of extra time. You're listening to the big match on WLR. Thanks to George Corbett Skoda. Yes, welcome back. Both teams really huddled down, having their few minutes. Dan, these are vital few minutes. There's more rubbing down than hugging, but I, I yeah. noticed both teams, the, the, you could sense the pride and bonding within ah, both yeah, teams. Yeah, Kieran, you don't, get, you, you don't get these opportunities very often, Kieran, Dan, to be honest with you. The, the way most of Stephen club. Frampton, quick word, sorry, Dan. Frampton, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it, it's very hard to call. Uh, you know, there's the bare minimum in it. I, I think both teams are flat out and just barely hanging in there. This fellas going down with cramps and the whole lot. Pitch is having that, a lot of that to do, to do with that, but um, you must you be know, pleased with the performance. Very delighted with a great start. That's what we said. We needed a great, good start to the the, um, the 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 first period of extra time, and and if we can just hold out now, you know. But it's it's uh, I, I I you know our forwards are good men to score, but they're very very small. So if they get an opportunity, they will. So hopefully they get a few more in the second half. Let's hope so. Once again, thanks to Stephen Frampton, referee out in the middle of the field. Again, it's a case of what bodies can send up to it then, because it's been yeah, an Kieran, unbelievable contrast. There was not a cramp in the line there from both sides, Kieran. To be honest with you, but man, I don't know how played the last seven weeks in a row. Will we catch him when you're when you're winning, Kieran? They won't injuries on body. So it's all about this extra time. The last ten minutes here in Walsh Park. Who can do the business? Ball is thrown in. Belly Gunner playing from left to right. But it's, it's the Sars who get the first touch and it's out near the side and out over the line it goes. It's going to be line ball to Belly Gunner there and Wayne Hutchinson literally yeah. gave everything he's went across for that ball with Tommy Doyle and he wins the line ball. Yeah, a line ball will, will spot it out there by Hutchie. Like, you know, he's an experienced player here and like, you know, so went out over the line. But Sars really played well in the second half into that Keane's goal here and they, they need to do that again today Kevin O'Gorman is the man who's come on for Stephen Maher there Kevin O'Gorman an experienced campaigner as well for the Sars he's on as the line ball is taken quickly back it goes to Ian Kenny puts him on the attack a oh, well read inside by Michael Cahill the all-star cornerback gives it away to the all-star centre-back the wrong man to have it from Belly Gunner point of view he has a look he takes a shot and it's gone over the bar inspirational score yeah. Michael Cahill the all-star an experienced man gives it to Parik Mahar and the captain puts it over the bar we're back to a one point uh, game brilliant work from Michael Cahill to be honest with you Kieran so towards the end of the came out and gave the ball to Mahar and score just a minute gone in this second period of extra time Hard physicalities, that ball dropped in the middle of the field. There's about six bodies trying to get around it, but the man who picks it up is Lark Corbin, the experienced Lark, the 36-year-old. The all-star hurler tries to hold on to it, works the ball back to McCormick. McCormick half hooked there, and well hooked in the end there by Barry O'Sullivan, but he's gone away to Parik Maher. The wrong man has a going to scoop this over the bar. Has he done it? Oh, it's gone right and wide there. Wide number 11 for the Sars. So lucky there, There's Kieran, one point the between the sides. He was very unlucky there, uh, Porik, so he was great work again. It was on his left side this time. So yeah, left and right, he can yeah. do it. A very talented player. Right, and he's confident in his scoring. Yeah, then. he's an exceptional player, Kieran. You know, he's, a, he's just a one off. He's a great player, the fellow they have. Like, you know, Larry Lar- Carver down at the moment. I thought he was probably fogged there, Kieran, but they're going to get away with it there. Like, you know, so um, a great advantage on the referee. So, Stephen O'Keefe, puck outs are going to be yeah. very vital from this stage. Yeah. Holding that position, they lead by a point. He's to do with experience on Kieran, that's what he does, and he launched this one now again. Like, he's absolutely top dog at that. Fergal, the manager on the line, seen it all before. Back in '92, he was a key man for Ali Gunner and Lee Dwarf under 21s. But now they have it from the puck out. Ball goes there to David Walsh, tried to hand pass the ball away quickly, but you don't hand pass it away from Maher. Pussy away with the guard yeah, he's, he's and really wins himself for free. Last. He's up to the big, and you could see the two yeah. young lads there as he went. He just blew him out yeah, away. He's, he's up and free out. Oh, I don't know, should they put a, a nifty fell on him, taking away from the play, Kieran? But 
He seems to be on top of him. Lara's coming off out him. Ready. So Lara. Lara Corbett being called ashore. Pat Burke. Pat Burke is on again. Pat Burke is back on. Chance to redeem himself. Chance to redeem himself. Aidan McCormick has it for the Sars. He's going for a long one. He's going for the equaliser. Has a turling. And it's gone right. And it's gone wide. Wide number 12 for the Sars. But the score remains. 118, 117. Belly Gunner leading by that one single point. Three minutes gone of this second period of extra time. Shane Walsh with it. Oh, it took a bit too much out of that. Big casual by the joint captain there. Ran into a bit of trouble inside his own 45. What are they going to do with this one? Philip Back to help Miss Philip Mahoney. Where did he come from to help? But he came and he helped and he gave it to Wayne Hutchinson. Good play by Philip. Good clearance by Wayne. Putting them on the attack. What can they do with it here? It's on the 45 metre line. Oh, for Brian O'Sullivan. He loves these scenarios when there's space as there is now and, and legs tiring. But ball is in the middle of the field. Brian O'Sullivan looks on with his shoulder. Heavily, heavily strapped. They have possession. That's the men from Sars. Stephen Cahill has it, putting them on the attack. They trail by one. Ball goes inside to Michael O'Brien, the speedster. Well cut off inside. And Shane O'Sullivan has it on the side. And he's been brilliant from flag fall for them. Gets the ball towards David O'Sullivan. No relation. The centre forward as well. Knocks the ball down. A chance here for JJ. What can JJ do with this one? Gives it back to Barry O'Sullivan. Takes away. his shot. And it's gone over the bar. Barry O'Sullivan sends it over the bar. He's dead. Billy with the captain back in 0-1. Is that a good sign here, yeah, Dan? But yeah. can't be breathing this oh, in from the book out. Well. Yeah, look at the Pabrook has it. There's space in front of a Pabrook has a chance. And Pabrook sends it over the bar. Disappointed of being taken off. He's back on. A score at each side. And yeah, there's still Kieran, just one point there, between there the goal, sides. Barry going to lead by one. We'll see it here, Kieran. There was a goal chance there, to be honest with you. There was extra men. Extra men got in number five. Gone in there. Shane Rolf O'Sullivan the breaks the hurley. But he's got a, a one a re- replacement very, very quickly from the puck out. David O'Sullivan trying to get his hand onto it. In there helping him as well. It's Timmy O'Sullivan. Two O'Sullivan's in there, but in the end, referee's going to blow it and to throw it in. Four and a half minutes yeah. gone. One point between the sides. Paddy Mahoney limping out here. And I see Rona Maher has gone up into far here on, on Paddy Mahoney, of uh, uh, Philip Mahoney. So that's an interesting move from Tullesars. Yeah, they're throwing all their eggs in the forward basket. Shane O'Sullivan has it. Gives it back to Wayne Hutchinson. Lovely yeah. diagonal ball. What can they do with this one? Running out for it. Is, is young Davy yeah, Walsh. Walsh. What can he do with this one? He's gone out to the sideline. Oh, police that one and telegraph that one. Yeah. But Michael O'Brien, well. Kevin O'Gorman, the substitute as well to block it. In to help him is the experienced Mar. He's everywhere today, the oh. centre back. Oh, he gets a very, very heavy high tackle there, and that could that yeah, could get a call over there. It was very, very heavy. Very heavy and very high. And Barry O'Sullivan counted himself lucky that he only got a ticking there then. Yeah, he got a yellow card here, and I think so he did. So, um, did he get you? Yeah, he got a yellow. And um, no, it's. it's he had to stop coming out here, and I suppose to stop the momentum. Like you know, maybe it was a good free to give away here. Short ball up the line. Conor Sheehan being walked up. Short ball down the line. What can I do? Back to Maher. He's on the 65. The captain is looking for the equaliser. He opens the shoulder. On he the takes his shot, and it's gone over the bar. Number two for Maher, but number nine, 119 for them. We're level. We're level here in Walsh Park. Level for a seven time. And my stopwatch says six minutes gone. That means we're only four minutes left. Is there enough in the engine for Belly Gunner? Six weeks on the track. This is their seventh game. The fresher Sars look to be coming into their own now. But is there a last kick in these Gunners men? Inside the 65, ball breaks. A chance for them. Half back Ronan Maher going for a long one. Saki looks on. Is he going to leave it go wide? In the end, it's gone wide. Well policed by Saki. It's gone right. Yeah, and it's gone wide. 13 wide for him. Quick puck out to Philip Mahoney. Philip drives it long, but the bigger defence is there, and the bigger defence are with the Thurl of Sars. Right man, man has it. Porrick Mahoney has it. What did he do with it? Takes his shot. Oh, it's dropped under the crossbar. Batted away by the keeper there. He looked like to go over the bar, but it's a chance here for Walsh. What can Walsh do? Takes his shot. Oh, it's into the side netting. It's wide. The 12th wide for him. Porrick Mahoney yeah. shot. Just dropped short. Batted away. A chance for Davy Walsh. Crashed it into the side netting. Yeah, Kieran, a massive opportunity there to flick the ball over the barrel. Goal even. More experienced player. Um, yeah, more experienced player. Yeah. Davy Walsh. He's done well so far. Even Porrick there. The ball just went under the bar there. I can also hit it. Yeah, Shane Walsh now is limping off the captain. He's hamstring trouble. He's been replaced yeah. by Connor Sheehan. My stopwatch says there's just what? Three minutes left. Who is it going to be? We're level. Puck 119. Puck a massive no, Kieran. McCormick with the puck out. The big men are under it. Who's the biggest man to get it? They go high. Harley is there under that breaking ball. No one gets it clean. But who can get into their hand? The man who gets into hand is Wayne Hutchinson. Good play by Wayne. What they do with it? Oh, he scoops it away out over the line there. 
bit of panic there by Wayne under pressure Philip was there for the return he meant well but unfortunately hit it too well out over the line line ball for the Stars it's inside that 45 Will Ronan definitely have a for this one. Kieran, he'll definitely have a cut off it like you know um, scores are scarce yeah scores are scarce as well could have been back Wayne there, did Wayne well there. he had time he had time, time to open the shoulders and clear it but Ronan is going to take it it's on the sideline inside the 45 the way, he's Kieran. caught it brilliantly no. but it's turning down it's turning right and it's turned wide just wide, wide number 14 wide, for him wide number 14 score remains 119 apiece the stopwatch says now oh, there's less than two him. minutes good David puck out David O'Sullivan wins it that's good play for him hits the deck seems to be foul as he hits the deck but play on says the referee ball played inside Goal. the 20 metre chance chance inside for Barry what can he do takes his shot yes oh it's got over the bar it took a while for it to go over the bar JJ Hutchison did well from that dropping ball it took a while to go over the umpire the goalkeeper were looking at it but finally it goes over the bar Gunners back in front eight and a half minutes gone in this second half of extra time period men are being rubbed down they're being cramped all over the place there's more physios and first aid out in the field and players at this stage but thankfully the men are still standing Fergal is out in the field wouldn't he love to be out there he was there on 01 he was an exceptional centre half back he's done brilliantly as a manager as well yeah, off he's, the field he's, he's, yeah, he's using his intelligence here Fergal Ken, he's learning from yeah. you yeah. Oh, oh. he's learning I've learned from him here, he's trying to break up the play and, and kill time a bit now, this is a massive point. The stopwatch says nine minutes. The score says there's one point between the sides, that means there's one minute left. And the referee is column lines, he throws it in. I don't know what way he threw it in. The ball threw breaks threw there. Here. Who's first to react? It's all about position. The ball is away, good chance. It's that man Conor Sheehan. Sheehan the substitute, gone inside the 20. What can he do with it? Try to offload it there to Carl Maloney. Conor Sheehan went one of his runs there to substitute but really ran down a oh, cul-de-sac and in the end has he won a free the man comes out with Osmar, Maher bursts out with the ball shoulders open sends it long dropping inside the 30 metre line Harley Barnes waits for it but the ball doesn't wait for him it falls to the substitute the substitute gets it across the power power face to hold it under pressure back picked it up is Eddie Hayden the UCD man gets the ball away there very heavy tackle on Ian Kenny right in front of us the man who has it is McCormick out over the line line ball Barry Gunner and Fergal Hartley goes out and says Eddie Ian Kenny that's as good as a score yeah. the stopwatch says it's all over Fergal is waving it's all over but there's only one referee looking down on it yeah, one one nine, unbelievable 120 yeah, Ian Kenny I thought he was full coming out here and was stuck with it got a line ball this is massive I thought Pat Box to put that ball over the back here uh, if he was more confident today I think he would have put one minute of that additional ball. time then it's yes, all sir. about this line ball Shane O'Sullivan the moon torn out out in the gale skull he's Don't practiced this many many, many a time flag. he has to get this one right oh, not the best of line balls though he picks it very very poorly a man who picks it up is wearing blue and white he's Connor Stakes yeah, he's back on Shane Connor wins it back Great from nowhere it. good play by Shane Parik Mahar is in to kill it Walk out over line it. line ball belly gunner line ball belly gunner and the Turla Sarsfield bench are enraged by that they jumped off off the bench but right in front of us line ball belly gunner on the 65 that minute of additional time has gone they were level in Norman time Hardly going to be level after extra time, but it's Bally going to lead by one. 120, 119. Everyone is looking at his watch. Johnny Orman down under us, the man who bought the four ball with Seamus Power, who's doing well out in the States. He's not worried about Seamus Power now, as the line ball is going to be taken by Shane O'Sullivan. Inside the 65, he takes that line ball really into no man's land there because it was blue and white jerseys once you put it into the attack cut off inside well cut off by Kevin O'Gorman now they have a chance great at the equaliser ball in the middle of the field well won by Porrick Manny carry, carry, he has carry. the ball if he holds on to the ball Porrick still has the ball still Porrick coming here to 45 Porrick on the sideline Porrick has a look Porrick takes a shot and has got a what a finish by the Axman himself but Pergen Hartley Dances into the air and throws his hat in the That's air. It, it's all over. And Benny Gunner have won an epic title. The four in a row champions of Waterford. Top of the four in a row champions from Thurless and from Tipperary. Benny Gunner are in the quarter final. What a game, Dan. Yeah, unbelievable game, Kieran. So did. Um, the game said that hard might have caught up the Benny Gunner, but they showed the character. The, 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 the lads on the line. 
showing their intelligence by using their subs brilliantly. Like, you know, they all the subs can triple maybe point each care. So then the work rate was unbelievable. Yeah, unbelievable from every place. There was balls there. Tolna Sarsman had Shunda one, and by God, Belly Gunner didn't name with it. Shane not O'Sullivan, I thought, was outstanding midfield. His work rate, but I thought today's team performance, Belly Gunner was outstanding. Also. Not alone the backs, but the forwards, and even the young lads that came on, they battled hard against the physical uh, Sars defence. Yeah, Kieran, t- like, you know, when, when Brian went off there, you'd be saying, like, where's the physical? Harry come with, with David and Brian with a two main minute, but it goes to show what kind of bench they have, Kieran. We're saying all year, Kieran, the bench has been unbelievable. Kieran. Yeah, yeah. Well, let's go down to Tomas McCarthy. Kieran, I'm here in the middle of the pitch with uh, a breathless. Uh, Fergal Hartley um, Fergal it's only a quarter final but that's one of the great uh, victories for Ballygunner here today yeah look it's only a quarter final as you say it does mean a lot to us as you can see because you know we were we were good at coming out of Turles last year I uh, felt we left the game behind us albeit to an absolutely brilliant brilliant sort of sauce for his team and I suppose when you win a game like that you just have to be so so proud of the lads you just have to be so so proud of them. that's all I can say I'm just absolutely I'm wiped I'm absolutely wiped it's, uh, it's incredible stuff what well, well was said after the end of normal time, Fergal, Torres got the last two points. It seemed that Minton was with them, but he dug very, very deep out there an extra time. We just said it wasn't going to happen. As we, we, we made mistakes. We cut, lost our concentration. That's what about him. We worked on concentrating all year long for 60 minutes the whole way. 66 minutes in most cases. We lost our concentration, but uh, the fairest boys responded again in the last 10 minutes. I mean, just backs to the wall stuff. You have to grind it out. The boys did it. So, so proud, so proud. This is a real panel effort for He lost Brian O'Sullivan, your talisman throughout the year. On came the subs, David Welch, uh, Barry O'Sullivan and JJ Hutchison at the end. They all came up trumps for you. Yeah, all came up trumps. JJ got the winning point. Old, old dog for the long road kind of thing, like you know. So, uh, but we have a great panel. That's what this team is about a panel. It's not about 15 players. It's power panel is 46. It's all the back team. It's everybody. Really united group, you know. And uh, I think sometimes we don't get enough credit for, I suppose, everything we do in terms of work. Really committed. The commitment of these lads is it's incredible. We're seeing them before how we hurl as opposed to the real commitment of what goes on behind it back in January, back in February. And these boys, I just look, I just can't say enough good about them. I'm not a breath, I just can't even think straight, but I um, just can't say enough good about these guys. And your, your fitness level as well, Fog. This is your seventh week on the trot in competitive championship hurling. It says a lot about the, the work that you put in. Well, we have a savage fitness trainer in Shafis Patrick, you know, and we had six of the lads on the Warfare panel who, uh, who, um, who uh, were obviously got the best of training there. and so uh, you know, we knew we'd be fit enough. We knew that wasn't going to be an issue. We knew if it came down to, you know, if it came down to battle, if it was the fittest team, we knew we'd be okay. We knew we'd be okay. If the work done. So um, absolutely. If anyone won one such championship in history, for this obviously this championship it means a lot, a lot to the to whole club, and you want to go all the way this year. Ah, look, Jesus, that's one win, or probably the toughest draw we could possibly get against Torres Stars and next to Six Mile Bridge, and next Sunday no break again, and it's going to be tough and. You know, so um, we're not thinking that far ahead yet. We're just thinking the next game is one game. We've had seven weeks now. It's been literally one game at a time every week, regardless of who we're playing. Um, I suppose it's going to be next one as well. That's your perform the way you did, especially next time for you. Must be, they should be able to lift that again now for, for next Sunday. Yeah, and that's the thing. They're getting to the boys that I pitch every week. You know, in fairness, it's difficult, but they're doing it every week, week in, week out. And they've been doing that in the league section as well. They've been playing at that pitch and that intensity. And it's tough to keep it going, but I say it's. All about really mental resolve, mental strength. It's not really about physicality. It's not being about physical fitness. It's partially that, but it's more about mental resolve, mental strength. And these guys have that in buckets, you know. Great fixture today, Fergal. Thanks a million for your Thanks time. Well done. Thanks, folks.